They if it, switch over. Yeah. Suck. They're, okay, they're, I'm, I'm not even going to repeat what they're saying in my chat right now. Well, I guess you'll see it soon enough. If you... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to see it pretty soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys are going to be set up across from each other on the screen at all times. So all of uh, my chat's text and all of Charbrook's chat's text, you'll see. It, this, is, uh, this is our character creator screen. Um, welcome. Wait, uh, I, I don't have... There, I got used up now. Okay. Uh, and so... You see those little bubbles in the left and the right? That's where each of your characters are going to go. Um, first, More. we're going to have to... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Guys, oh, please. Good guys, guys, chill. Suck. They can't decide if they want to <laughs> suck or kill. Suck is an interesting, like, go-to. Kill. <laughs> 1984. More. Love, right, kill, hug. Kiss. Okay. Well... Um. Uh, you know, we knew this was going to happen to some degree. Keep in Whoa. mind, though, if you guys are going to goof off the whole time, the whole story is going to pass you by, you know? You're going to... How are you going to follow any leads in, in this yes. uh, they, fantasy mystery? If, they just got to get this out of their system really quick. And they'll, they'll, sure. they'll shape up. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sure they're, they'll shape up any minute now. Um, so I guess, wait, you should probably describe huge. the... People wave. Uh, oh, look, they're waving, dude. Bless you, Bryce. Aww. Mine are just huffing copium. I guess you should describe sort of the basic premise of your story so we know what kind of character we're going to generate Smooch. on our end. Yes. So, as you can see in the background, uh, the basic premise of my story... Sorry, I just refreshed my, my source, so it might take a minute to catch Bold. up. Um, we are going to be Congo. set in a fantasy setting uh, where yes, there right. is a... Uh, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of on the on the seven seas, kind of a port town, you know, kind of uh, kind of swashbucklery, maybe, you know, that kind of energy. Um, however, there is a big bad of my story. And All I'm right, chill, read, uh, guys. The prompt that I wrote. Behave. That, uh, that gets You're making me look like a fool. Also, um, I refreshed my source, by the way, and it doesn't seem like they're Daddy. popping up anymore. So I don't know if I broke something wait mommy. Oh, i see so yours they now. said mommy yeah they did say mommy all right um all right so here is the premise it's okay for guys, your guys thanks for being chill dude um <laughs> <clears throat> sorry pay attention, pay attention. Write, this down. write this down years since the age of dragons and the realm has finally settled into a calm since the last dragon died that is until the dark wizard plumbus began harvesting the dragon's People power G. from their fossilized remains. Now, the dark wizard Plumbus God. threatens to bring about a yes. new age of dragons. But this time, it's an age of dragon bones. Plumbus. Is that a dramatic? Uh, I heard your door close. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, I got a little too scared. I had to leave. I'm not even done yet, dude. <sighs> Somebody has to discover where the Dark Wizard yeah, Plumbus has hidden his wizard tower Hello. and defeat him before it's too late. Is that us? Uh, not us, but it's them, you know? Guys, that's you. Holy smokes. That's you. <gasps> that's you. No, you that, Buzzy. Don't ignore that. Ignore that. Oh, God. All right. Well, so at this point, guys, we're going to break off into uh, <laughs> two little... Uh, two little private powwows where uh, Charborg's chat will design their character with Charborg, and I'll design my chat with uh, my chat, and then we'll we'll meet back up. We'll generate your mm -hmm. AI character profile, and then uh, the story will begin. So sounds that good. Is where it goes. Uh, do you know where you want to start with this? By the way, we didn't really go over like what the design process is. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure like... we can just sort of pick like some vague like descriptors and then narrow in like maybe like because given the theme uh, i'm imagining i'm gonna be Us? some bold uh, I'm, my concentration is getting broken uh <laughs> the what am i saying you guys fucking mess me up dude whatever <laughs> okay what are you imagining kraken yeah i think bold. we either give them some options for like you know starting with a race or a, or a oh. class you know like a like a rpg class and then we yeah. we like Get it from there. I mean, they seem to have like the Furry. physical attributes down. Um, <laughs> Baby. All right. Let's. Uh, Bald. Yeah. Let, let's. 
How about you just message me when you're done, and All right. then, uh, and we'll get we'll get started. Okay. okay. I'll see you in a sec. All right, guys. Is it out of Whoa. your system? Are you done? Can we let's begin? Whoa, we need to figure free. out. We need to figure out what kind of character you guys want to make. Oh, look, we're getting a little hint at what they're creating too. I'm gonna. I'll turn their widget off just so we don't get spoiled. Bald furry. You want to make a bald furry, you guys? Keep him. <laughs> keep him. <laughs> Fish. You're creating your character here. A bald furry? I could do that if you guys are dead set on that. A fishman? Fish. A bald furry fish? I think we're combining... Bald furry fish. We're combining elements. Okay, uh, listen, here's what I'll do. I'll go into the AI image generation. And I will attempt to generate what you just said there, okay? Fish. Bald. Furry. Fish, okay? Fish humanoid. Why is the video frozen? It's just a picture right now. There's, uh, there's nothing playing. <clears throat> Alright, um, let me get this. Let me see if I can get this generated and see what I can come up with. Make him fat? Well, okay, we'll start. We're just going to start with the basis, okay? I typed bald furry fish humanoid. Do you guys want him to stink? Is that why you're saying smelly? Fat, stinky. Fat and stinky, okay. Those are some good, those are some good descriptors. I'll put that down on the page. You want him to be green? Guys, I'm seeing some gross stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. I am seeing some very gross things. Show us? Oh, I don't think you guys want to see. Okay I'll, okay, I'll start showing you a couple of these. Um, if we can sort of go uh, w whatever direction you guys are feeling. Let me, oh god, dude, these are yucky. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. All right, here you go. Here's a couple. Tell me what you're thinking of. <laughs> For some reason, it keeps stacking double heads. I'm not sure where this is coming from or why. Look at that one on the right, dude. Do you see this? Yes. Out of, <laughs> out of these three, which one do you like? Left... E middle, w. left, middle, or right? Two. Middle. Wait, I gotta turn these off so I can see. Middle? Oh, it's pretty evenly split, huh? Alright, here, we'll, we'll ask this. Because we can keep generating and make it even better. Middle. How do you guys... Which one would you want to scrap completely? Which one do you want to cut completely out? Left. Okay, well, I just gotta make a right. pull. Yeah, it's it's pretty even. Let me make a pull really quick. Left. Left. Pull. All right. Right. Which, okay, sh chill. I'll pull it. Which one to keep? Wait, which one? Uh, I'll just say, which one do you like? Left. Right. Pull. Middle. Start pull. Let your voice be heard. I have a favorite so far. <laughs> pull. Pull. The votes are coming in. <laughs> it's 
So wait, I don't understand, guys. Is this your top head or your bottom head? Which one is you? I don't... Both? Both. This is freaky, dude. Both. Alright, looks like middle wins. We're gonna go with middle. So let's try to refine this and see if we can get this looking a little bit better. I'll create some variations of it. You're like a weird pig, man. I don't know what this is, actually. It's gross. I'll tell you that much. It is really gross. You want him to be green? There's even worse now, dude. There's even worser green. ones. Oh my god. And you know what's good about this, guys? Watch, let me take this down into how it's gonna be. When, when, when it's actually the time... You're gonna be able to switch, dude. Check this out. You can go with this dude when you're in a sort of naughty and nice type situation like this dude, and then... Whoo, All right, but that we still have deciding to do, so one sec. <clears throat> yes. 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 All right. Let me do... Do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to add the green skin that you mentioned. With green skin. Let's see how it looks. I hate him. You're... you're Heartless. Can green be the rage mode? Yeah, we can try. We can try whatever. We're not limited by by much of anything. It's generating. Give me one sec. Mm, it didn't really add green skin to any of these, but it did generate. What? It generated a bunch of. Wait, what? You want them to be wet? What? Okay. Moist. We'll try. Generating now. Soggy. All great descriptors and synonyms for the word wet. Those will be added to the uh, to the list. I'm generating it right now. Let's see if this works. I just can't show you guys me generating because sometimes it, sometimes it generates a little penis or two. All right, none of these really look great. I mean, okay, I'll show you guys what we've got. Huh. None of these are... EW. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like we could stick with Ooh. this one. You guys want to stick with this one? I'm honestly a fan of the way this one looks. Yes. 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 Greasy? I'll try adding greasy, okay? Yes. I'll add greasy to the terms and we'll see how that affects things. Yeah, I tried coloring him in green, but it didn't really like work correctly. It just added patches of green to him. What class are we going to be? Yeah, I guess you guys can sort of decide that. What, what anything you Oily. Oh my god, guys. This one, okay. I added the term greasy. And that seemed to have done numbers. Check this out. Barbarian. <laughs> Ew, dude. Naughty and nice. Look, you got the bottom yes. one. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
You guys want to eat? This one's fucking awesome, dude. Yes. You got the top one for anger situations and the bottom one for sleepy situations. All right, let's do it. Um, so this one, I'll disable this one. EW. Don't call him you. What are we going to call this dude? Perfect. He's beautiful. Every single aspect of him. I, I wouldn't change a single thing. Grug. Grug? Are they, bo are they both called Grug or is one called something else? Grog. Greg, Grog, okay. I think for the simplicity, we're gonna call him Grug. We'll call him Grug, but then Grog, Grog exists, okay. Grug and Grog. I just really worry. Okay, we'll talk to Kraken about it, all right? We'll talk to Kraken. I. The AI storyteller, I don't want to confuse it by having like three main characters because you know if you type Grug and Grog, like how are you going to just conjoin twins? I, I don't know how to... <laughs> Grug and Grog. All right, we will be Grug and Grog in spirit, but let's talk about the concept with Kraken and see how he feels about it, okay? I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to unmute and see what he says. All right, I'm ready when you are. No rush. All right, we have our design. Uh, they're deciding between a name right now. Yeah, we've got um, we've got a design. Grog and Grog. <laughs> we've got a design and a name that we've been workshopping. Um, but I want your opinion on it because I don't know how this is exactly going to work. Okay, um, I'm, gonna, I'm dropping you the image for mine. Grog. Okay. Oh, you're cute. Yeah, you're cute. Let me get Kraken on screen, guys, so you can see him. I gotta get your chat back up too, cause I. Disable it so I wouldn't get spoiled. See, now you yeah. sort of had a similar thing. <laughs> you sort of had a similar thing going on in the sense that uh, there's two of you. Yeah, Grug it's because they're insistent that we make a mommy, and I think the AI interpreted that as having a child. So well, I think um, we'll just see. This is a. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Grug and Grog. They want it. I, I just don't know how this is exactly going to work in the um, in the uh, limitations we have with this AI. I don't know if furry. it's going to handle a conjoined twin too well. All right, this is Grug and Grog. This is guys. This is your your uh, compatriot for this <laughs> adventure. Um, Wait, let me get your chat back on screen one sec. Now that that also means you're going to have to come up with a voice yeah, that. Uh, oh, will they, they call them you? No. Dude, <laughs> they don't want to be your, your companion, Kill. dude. I don't know what to say. You guys are unbelievable. EW. They can't help the way they look, guys. D. Come on. That is hurtful. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. War. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't expect Kraken's Kill. chat to be such a dick. War. Now, yeah, Kill. I don't know how to make both appear in the portrait. Well, I was actually going to do War. a sort of uh, whichever one is appropriate for the situation. Like maybe Grug's oh, hanging out for one of them and then- personalities? Yeah, maybe like you just raise your head up or, and lower. Yeah, no, that, we can do that for sure. Um, now, have Furry. yours decided on a name? It's, okay. It just seems like it's a compound name, which makes sense. Yeah, um, they, they, I, I was telling them that I don't know yes. if it would work too well with having two names. So they shortened it to Grug and Grog, all one okay. word. Yes. <laughs> I don't Grug know. And Grog. Grug and Grog. Grug and Grog. Grug and Grog. <laughs> Kiss. Grug and Grog. Kiss. Listen to him say Grug and Grog, dude. Oh, wait. I have to turn on the. Uh... All right, we're Kiss. turning on Charbor Chat, too. Yeah, I just have them both up right now. Grug and Grog. Grug and Grog. <laughs> Grug and Grog. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. Do you guys want to actually go with Grug and Grog? Grug and yeah. Grog. That's a perfect way to combine the two of them. Okay, well, let me change yes. my chat's name. Omega yes. Yes. I feel Grog. like the voice works yes. great, too. I was yeah. expecting to have to change the voice, but I really, I couldn't see it any other way, to be honest. Yeah, chat, we have a couple different options with the voice. Uh, right now, we're, we're doing a whispering voice. Um, but we can also, yes. uh, you know, depending on the energy yeah. of the scene. Grog and Grog. Grog and Grog. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like a weird little Pokemon, dude. Yeah. He just only says his Mary. name. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> uh, we can also do run, cheerful, run. excited, friendly, run. hopeful, shouting, terrified, unfriendly. Which uh, which emotion Mary. do you think uh, Mary. Uh, you guys Raku. like? Okay, Ratku won the uh, the vote, so we're gonna be Ratku. Ratku, am I hearing Shiny. the right voice? Is it going Ratku? Uh, no, it's it's a whispering. Uh... Terrified. Okay, you... I probably need to refresh your thing really quick yeah. then. <clears throat> All right, let's see if that worked. D, D, Rogan Grog. D. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon, Gordon. Dee Dee. Oh, I hear yours now. Wait, mine is now. Radice. Oh no. Grog, grog. What voice is yours? Grog, grog. Uh, right now it's um Tony no. whispering, but yeah, I hear now. Okay. No. Uh, no. No. Radice. Don't say that, Grog and Grog. Be nice, Grog, or I'll take Grog out. Grog, grab grog. you by one of your nuts and pull grog, it up to get the grog second grog. one. Grog, grog. Grog, grog. <laughs> Ow, my chest. Grog, grog, and grog, grog. What, what, what is your character's name? Uh, Ratku. They, I had to plead with them not to go with Goku again, so we got Ratku. That was the closest we could get. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Grog, and grog. <laughs> <laughs> Did I fucking look over and see Grog at the bottom? Grog, 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 Grog. Smash. Oh, you will. Um. Wait, oh my let me God. See. Grog, Grog. So <laughs> stupid, dude. You guys are so dumb. Uh, I, but depending on the pass. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm sweating, dude. I'm laughing so hard. W. Ew. Pass. <laughs> Pass. 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 Um, okay. Smash. Wait, Ratku, would you rather be with Grog D. or Grog? Grog's at the bottom. Yeah, so Grog's at the bottom, Grog's at the top. You, get, you can, you can grog pick. Grog and Grog. Which one do you prefer? Grog. D. Grog. Grog. They prefer Grog a lot. <laughs> no one said Grog. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with Grog? I'm sorry, Grog. Sorry, Grog. All right, Grog, grog it is. Grog. <laughs> <laughs> grog. And grog. Cry. Uh, I'm like, so, I'm so happy they came up with combining the names, dude. Because yeah. I was, I was like, all right, well, we can just call him Grog, and then it'll be understood grog that the other grog. one's name is Grog. But Grog and Grog is too perfect. Yeah, Grog, Grog is going to sit out most of this adventure, I think. Maybe he's like, Cry. you know, his second phase, you know, like, because, you know, keep in mind, guys, depending on what happens in this adventure, you, you could activate Grog, right? You can make that your choice. You can be like, you know, Grog answers the question, you know, Grog, Grog gets involved. Yeah. So that's part of the, yeah, you go, you go Grog mode. Grog ugly. Oh, I think Grog that's, cry. Don't cry, Grog. Come on. Look, we're, we're just getting started with this adventure, okay? <laughs> Grog, Grog. <laughs> okay. Grog ugly. Grog mode. What is Grog mode? Grog grog. <laughs> Guys, Grog and Grog, <laughs> chill. What, I don't, don't enter Grog mode, please. All right, let me. Uh, okay. Oh, actually, grog you know what? Mode. This is going to be so hard for the AI grog kill. to consider grog, grog and Grog one entity. Yeah, I know. I think. I think we'll just. I think it'll just be like I, Grog I, I and Grog okay. is the entity, and we can yeah. role play as Grog yeah. and Grog are doing different shit. Okay. All right. Uh, do we want to begin the adventure? Warp smash. What do you yeah. guys think? Are you ready? Anything Let we're me, missing? Give me one second. War. I'm just changing something Grog over here Grog. really quick. War. All right. I think we're ready. I'm ready. Grog and Grog, how are you feeling, Grog and Grog? Uh, I think their their self esteem. <laughs> they just have that ready to go, like a Pokemon. That's all they. Oh wait, uh, I sent you a squad invite, by the way. If oh you, yeah, let me do that. Except that, yeah. So viewers, if you want to watch both of our streams, you can use a squad invite or the squad system. And why is yours called both Giant chats? Fantasy Rat Germa Bard? Grog, they grog. they really wanted to fit Germa and Mommy in there, and it ended up just being 
Germa, I, I don't know where Germa <laughs> made it into the the prompts, but I tried to fit everything they asked for. I think yeah. Germa's the baby. Yeah, there you Mine go. Mine is, let me tell you what we generated from mine, because, uh... Germa. You hungry, hungry. Grog and Grog? <laughs> oh, he wants to eat Germa! Oh, okay, all right, careful there, man. Don't feed the baby to Grog and Grog. Germa, see. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Mine is greasy, bald, furry <laughs> fish humanoid, green skin. That's what oh, my that's what my guys yeah, wanted Germa. to do. Bald fish must have been how you got that horrible pig look. Yeah. Horrible. Totally. Pardon me. I mean, okay, sorry. Yeah, that's subjective. Grog and uh, grog. Enter grog, grog mode. Kill. No, please don't go grog mode. Grog please grog. don't go grog mode. <laughs> grog and grog. Grog mode. <laughs> grog mode. <laughs> oh my okay. god, dude. Grog mode. Um, let's see. How are we gonna do Monk this? Monk grog ass. mode. Ugly. Grog kill. Grog smash. That was scary. Alright, I, All right, I gotta scary. put them in their frame. Rat commode. Yeah, when you got them in their frame, let me know. And Dude, I love the whisper for Ratku. That sounds sick. Yeah, I think Ratku, I like the whisper right now, but maybe, you know, depending on the character arc that we go through, we might change the voice, you know? Yeah. Maybe Rat if he powers up, it'll get different. So, I, I, guys, Grug and Grog, who, who's going to be displayed in the portrait real quick, just so I can figure that out? Grug and Grog. <laughs> they, they want Grug and Grog, Grug. dude. Grug. Eat right. <laughs> Grog. I'm, you know what? I'm going to set up Mommy a toggle mode. to uh, just <laughs> display Mommy mode. whichever one I want. Grug. Mommy mode. Oh. Let me get, get let me get rat down mode. in this. The fuck? Why did my daddy mode? <laughs> <laughs> grog and grog chill. Daddy mode. No. Daddy okay. mode. Oh, no, it's because they're in a group. Oh, interesting. All right, so we can't queue no. up scene changes. They just happen all at once. Okay. Wait, I gotta get your border up. I forgot. Guys, you're not you're seeing a sci-fi border on my end. Let me fix this. Grog <laughs> milk. Why did I just hear grog twice? Grog milk. Alright. Divorce. Divorce you guys aren't married are you married? Actually, I think don't they had a very, story. very grog brief grog. marriage arc for a second there. Yeah. EW. Well, let me say what, uh, yes. you know, <laughs> yes, <laughs> just forcing the marriage RP. <laughs> cry. No, don't, don't cry. Girl can crock. It, it was a brief, you know, it was a, it was a fling. Cry. A brief no. marriage fling. All right. Uh, when you're ready. Custody. <laughs> Alimony custody. Alimony. No, you don't want, they're trying to get custody of baby Germa. Hey, Grug and Grog, back off. That's our RP. Kids. Grug and Grog, Grug and Grog, chill. Grug and Grog, chill. One sec, let me, I'm adding Grog, I'm making a quick little transition so I can see Grog if, uh, if the time calls for it. I was going to grab his Fuck little you. neck and drag him up if I needed to see Grog, you know? Yeah, I just want to be able to do like a, a quick hotkey press so it's not taking forever. Oh yeah, make it switch back and forth. Eat that's Germa. <laughs> that's cute. I don't know how this Fuck party you. is going to get along, man. This it, this is a rocky start. With yeah, the, these guys seem the, to just the not. They're like, we've no. seen the rise and fall of a of a marriage. We've seen just. Eat Germa. Guys, stop, Greg and Grog, stop trying to eat Raku or whatever. Grog and Grog. <laughs> I just love that if you scold him, he just defaults back to his name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's his way of apologizing. He yeah yeah he didn't mean he knows that. he's out of line. Grog grog. Okay, guys. Deadbeat. Deadbeat. There we go. We got that grog and grog, grog, pog grog. toggle. Poggle. <laughs> All right, poggle. you ready? You ready, Kraken? I'm ready. All right, so let's turn on the storyteller. Uh. Why is it? Grog and Grog. Oh, God. I got a little out Weiss. of frame. Does it look the Grogle. same to you? Um, let me, I'm trying to pull mine up here. 
Let me see. Uh, where's my button for it? Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Um, I think it's because your Roggle. tab's open on the right. Your tab's open. Roggle. Oh, you're right. 100% you're right. Okay, it's fixed. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's begin with this. Grog and Grog and Grog and Ratku have both received a letter by Grog Pigeon Grog. of the encroaching danger posed by the dark wizard Plumbus. They have charted a ship to take them to his last known no location, the port city of Grandy. As the ship pulls into harbor, our adventure begins. And now Grog and Grog. we see what happens. We hit the go button. Go. So the AI comes up with the next line. I think. Oh wait. Actually, eat pigeon. Eat pigeon? Don't eat pigeon. One sec. Let me do this. Oh, yeah. What was, what was Raku's class? Uh, a bard. Oh, we, they went eat barbarian. Pigeon. Grog and Grog. Grog and Grog. Eat pigeon. <laughs> Wait, why, is every, why did Grog and Grog and Raku want to eat the pigeon, guys? Well, the, you guys will probably find on. something. Yeah, these two little. Eat rat. <laughs> Good guys, Grog and Grog. All right, dial so, it back. We're not eating rat coop. Uh, let's see what eat the grog. AI comes up with. Grog and Grog. <laughs> they said eat Grog. <laughs> Yummy. Eat Grog. Rat coop, chill. Eat Grog. Am I should which scene should I be on, Kraken? Uh, just the character creator for now. No. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's get it. Grog mode. <laughs> it's going grog mode already. Grog mode. There it goes. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, Crike, and I don't really know what grog mode is. I don't think they know either. I think maybe it's their barbarian rage. Grog it's mode. like when grog comes out. Maybe. He doesn't okay. look too... So I, mode. I think we can transition now Rock to smash. scene one. Um, scene one. Which is uh, this, uh, this cabin. This is where you guys have been bunked up. Grog and time. Grog and Grog and Ratku. You guys have been sleeping under here. You know, you don't really have the, the nicest of, uh, of accommodations necessarily on the ship. Um, but Grog and time. The ship got you to where you needed to get, which is outside of the uh, the city of Grandy. And now uh, we get to figure out where you guys want to go next. So, so the way I was imagining doing is we take turns one at a time deciding or like, I guess, should that wait until we get ship. into an actual scenario? Yeah. OK, so right now they're both just chilling. Yeah, we could. So I. Share bed. Share bed. <laughs> okay, eat they both want to eat the ship, um, is what I'm gathering from both of them. Are you going ship. to let these little freaks eat the ship? No. Well, you know. Share bed. I, I, I did. I think the whole concept of the no. show is we want to let them make their own decisions. So, um, yeah, if you guys want, you can start eating the ship. Uh, it will probably do some damage to your internal organs um, and may become a problem. Uh, later on in the adventure, but if you want to eat some of it, then then go ahead. No. So, uh, yeah, if you eat some of the ship. Um, I mean, I just want to remind you, Grog and Grog, you don't have to be so uh, short-sighted because we are probably going to enter a town sometime soon. And yeah, uh, the next the next question posed was going to be where you guys want to go in town. Uh, but if you want to eat the ship first, then uh, by all means. So, uh, grog, Charber, grog. if you'd be a deer, would you? Uh, Eat mind uh, <laughs> drawing some holes into uh, this image of the ship, and we can update it with the new uh, yeah, yeah, okay. torn apart That's a good uh, idea. cabin. <laughs> Let me get the uh, image generator up. Uh, now, AFC. now. All right, you begin to eat some of the ship. Uh, how how much of the ship do you eat, guys? Uh, is it just a little bit for a taste, or do you keep going until you're stopped, basically? Oh. <laughs> grog and grog. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, well, you eat all of the ship, uh, or at least enough of it that it begins to sink. Oh. 
Um, just, <laughs> uh, 20%. 20%. <laughs> okay, you eat 20% of the ship. Now, unfortunately, your position in the cabin means that all these holes are going to spring a leak, and uh, you find oh, yourself God. falling into uh, the ocean. So, uh, Charberg, if you want to go ahead and enable uh, scene number five. Okay. Drink ocean. Uh, splash. Yes. Uh, you guys land drink, in the ocean, ocean. and <laughs> you drink ocean. <laughs> now uh, you did just eat a whole bunch, guys. So I don't know if you can, if you can eat, uh, you can also drink an entire ocean. That's a lot for your your little bellies, even Grug and Grunk. I guess I guess let them give it a belly. shot. Let's see what the AI comes up with when they drink. attempt to drink ocean. Yeah, do you want to take this image and then <laughs> put the the ocean that uh, is drank? Or how how do you want to do the updated image? Just uh, well, let me just try to let me try to let's do that. Let's type it in and see what the AI, the like the little storyteller comes up with. Okay. Glug, <laughs> glug. <laughs> so I mean, so you guys see these these creatures off in the distance, right? They're they look like kind of like whales, but um, also kind of majestic and bird like. You can't tell if they're if they're small or just really far away. Uh, what is it that you do? You know, currently you're holding your breath. Well, at least Rat who's holding their breath. Breath. Glug, 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 and glug is drinking the water <laughs> um, and actively getting sick. Uh, glug, I'm, glug. I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, that's no longer. It. That's no longer. Grug and glug. That's glug and glug. So please refer to them as glug and glug. Oh, this is glug and glug now. Okay, I understand. Um, I'm going to update Glug and Glog's uh, picture uh, this whale. to reflect the fact they just drank an ocean. <laughs> um, I think that's only fair. Yeah, okay. Kiss. What are you guys kissing? Oh, well, they just this kiss whale. things sometimes. Uh, bloated, full of ocean Rat. water, drowned. Uh, Bald fish whale. man. Um, let's. I heard. Whale. I'm gonna make the widget a little bit taller, Kraken, or like a little bit okay. bigger. Seduce whale. Now you attempt to seduce the whale. Uh, it doesn't seem they speak your language, um, and so it's a little difficult to get its attention. It does finally notice you and seems to come over your way. Although it, uh, rather than. Um, w. Oh God. Uh, sorry, hold on. I just e got an updated image for Grug and Grog, if we want to no. use it, after he uh, has drank all the water in the ocean. Um, is this something you <laughs> would <laughs> Let like me, me to submit? Let me uh, see. It. Oh, God. D. It's bad. It's, I gotta say it's bad. Slap um, ass. Here, D. This, is, Slap ass. this is what we got. D. Uh, I think he's f f like frothing at the mouth a little bit. Um, Ew! Ew! What do you think? Do we? Uh, this do we is up? this is what Kraken just generated. Well, this is what they get. You know, if they're gonna drink the ocean, then I think <laughs> you, do, you, know, you, you got now. You shouldn't have drank the damn ocean, Grog and Grog. Yeah. Okay. I'm updating their image. Show. Um, e w. This um, is, is your uh, AI storyteller? Chill. Are you typing stuff, Kraken? Because I'm not really seeing anything. E no, I'm, I'm not okay, typing okay. anything. Right Just now. make it sure. E w. Uh, this is Grug, uh, and then Grog down here is. E w. Uh, I think he's going through the first stages of, um, like r rigor mortis or something. Like E w. <laughs> There's gas and fucking like. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Kill. Well, this is what happens, guys. If you're going to drink the ocean, this sort of stuff happens, okay? So, you know, vomit, or he's going to vomit the ocean back out. Kill. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't kill Grug and Grug right now. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> but because you drank the vomit. ocean, okay, all right, uh, here, I'm going to turn off their, their text-to-speech for a second. Who, 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 is somebody this. about to make a turn? Uh, yeah, so they drank the ocean. I'm now going to enter this into the, uh, the storyteller. And we're gonna see how it reacts to that. Mercy okay? kill. So let's see. Um, Mercy kill. Oh wait, actually, you know what? <laughs> I totally forgot that we had to, we have to use this, the AI storyteller to get to the ocean. So yeah, that's what I was wondering about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's do this. Um, 
Grug and Grog and Ratku begin eating 20%. Yeah, we don't even know ship. if we're we don't even know if we're in the ocean yet. We Until haven't been... <laughs> it starts to sink, and they fall into the ocean. When they land in the ocean, they encounter big whales in the distance. All right, we'll see what happens. I'm nervous. Okay, now we don't need that line. Uh, there's another way to get rid of these angry creatures. All right, how, uh, guys, do you get rid of these angry creatures? So I'm gonna turn the text speech back on. Wait, who's who's making a choice right now? Um, I think both of them can make it. All right. So there's seduce. So they both want to seduce, seduce the whale. whale. <laughs> All right, that's that's what we're gathering. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I'll we'll lock that in. That'll be your 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 choice. Uh, turning Seduce. off text to speech. Um, Grug, and Grog, and Ratku attempt to work together to seduce the whales before they are eaten. Um, Grug and Grog wanted me to point out that you spelled their name wrong. I'm sorry, Greg and Grog. You try to approach two huge female orc whales who are approaching to attack. Their leader is obviously frustrated that her pack was devoured at sea, and she wants revenge against anything male on board. Anything okay. male on board? Uh oh. Uh. uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do, guys? Mommy. You come up. Come <laughs> Grog and come on. guys, guys, I think you're. Mommy. This Mommy. is a big killer whale or something. I... Yeah, it's going to eat you guys. What? Mommy. What, what's the solution here? Mommy. We mommy. Okay. Oh, you're going to try to convince the whale that you're mommy? Convince the, the whale. Okay. <laughs> well, Raku is Not technically a mommy. Okay. So Raku is going to say. Oh, basically, you guys are playing the. We God, are not what are you talking about? Men, so don't worry about us. Guys, okay, don't be, don't actually, don't be weird. I don't know if you're being weird or not. Don't be weird. What are they doing? They're going to convince the whale that they're not men yes. and shouldn't be eaten. Okay. okay. All right. Taking off the text. Yes. Uh, the adventurers try to convince the just whale. Just making sure. I just want to make sure you guys are not, not trying to because they're not. The adventure, I, we don't really know what <laughs> gender Grug and Grog subscribes to. Uh, the adventurers. Adventurers convince the whale they are not men aboard the ship and therefore are not deserving of the whale's wrath. Show Germa? Okay. Ratku shows the whale <laughs> their baby rat named Germa to prove they too are a mommy. That's so sweet. I should probably get the picture of the little rat on. Adventurers approach the two giant yeah. females to tell them what happened to their family members in a quest for revenge. One of the whales overhears a voice saying, Germa, and then decides it must be one of the little rats. It is, yeah. It's one of the little rats, see? One of the little, it's just one of the little rats. Okay. Yeah, people happy. All right, well. Now what do you, you guys do? These whales seem Grug and to... Grog, chill. I need a Grug and Grog chill button. <laughs> Don't eat Germa. <laughs> no. <laughs> Grug and Grog. <laughs> Grug and Grog. <laughs> All right, your options, guys. Uh, you can either swim with the whale's help. I can say you can swim further down to the bottom of the ocean. Or the whales can take you to shore. I'll, I'll leave that to your guys' decision. Protect. Grog mode. Shore. Shore. Oh, sure. oh. All right, they're, they're reaching a decision. Okay, I'm going to say... Sure. The whales sure. agree to take 
the adventurers to shore after recognizing them as compassionate parents <laughs> sure. in their own right. They arrive on the beach on the dock of sure. Brandy Town. All right. See what it says? Grungrog. A very kind sailor sees your plight and helps you get sure. ashore without further trouble. It's finally time for some serious investigation. But first, check out your starting location. Your bedroom entrance. Your your bedroom entrance. Okay, I, I don't know what the AI meant by that, but I'm going to replace it with your options. Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, um, if you turn off text speech for one second and turn off the storyteller, now uh, enable scene doo -doo -doo, 10. Scene 10? Scene 10. I'm on it. Oh. Oh. So welcome to Grandy, guys. Uh, you get to decide where to go now. Uh, your options are... Sure, bed. No, guys. So these, these are the... Uh... <laughs> Turn next speech back on. Uh, these are the locations of interest that you guys can pick from. Walmart. Oh, no, Walmart. Uh, you can either go to... <laughs> The uh, the theater, Walmart. Council Hall, the Normal Bar, the Gnata Normal Bar, KFC. or Green Bottle Tavern. A tavern is kind of similar to, to Walmart, Grug and Grog. Walmart. Maybe maybe yeah. you can buy things at a tavern. Bar. Bar. KFC. <laughs> now there were two different bars mentioned, and there was no brothel tavern. Grug and Grog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There's there's three taverns. There is normal bar, not a normal bar, and a green bottle tavern. So either say uh, bottle, uh, normal, or not. Not. <laughs> not. Not. Right, not. Bar. Bar. <laughs> bar. Good, Greg and God. Good. 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 Greg and God. Yeah. You're doing it. Okay. Not. <laughs> All right. They want to go to the not a normal bar. Um. Grub, so. Grub. Uh, now, if we, uh, here, let me, what's the right order to do this? Grub, grub. Let's pull back up the storyteller and I will type in, uh, not a normal bar and then say the adventurers. <laughs> The adventurers arrive at not a normal bar and uh, look to get a room for the day. Uh, uh, wait, no, that's not the right way to do it. How about this? <laughs> I'm trying to think what the right order is between changing the scene and having the adventure like the text to speech do it yeah about adventures are right now then okay the adventures arrive at gnostical bar a bar filled to the brim with short gnomish patrons the bartender is a gnome the patrons are all gnomes <laughs> and you are not a gnome. Raku, Raku is killing me, dude. Raku, are you paying hey, attention Raku, to what Raku is silently trying to say? They're tr I, I have them turned off. And they're, they're I know, they're revolting. No mouth must scream. <laughs> Why are you guys so insistent? Okay. Uh, let us transition to scene uh, four now. Okay. And we'll let them explore Ooh, the bar. In eighty four. Grug and Grog, check it out, dude. There's a little there's a little wizard or something. Welcome to Gnotic Normal Bar. Uh ah. maybe you could <laughs> you know. ah. Grug and Grog, you have to think about the consequences of your actions. 
Wait, why is Raku so freaked the hell out? Yeah, remember, guys. Remember we're at the Dark Wizard Plumbus and like the plot to uh, resurrect the the dragons. Anyone still remember that? One nine eight four. I mean, it is. It's their story. I guess if they want to, yeah. if they want to attempt to eat one of the gnomes and deal with the consequences. Yeah. So let's submit uh, in the storyteller and let's hear what it has to say about yeah. what happens next. There are Just several known. things available here which can help with gathering information about Plumbus. <gasps> the Almanac book gives important dates in history. The map shows local towns and terrain features. The list of ingredients for making potions. The Ooh. grimoire which will teach you. <gasps> teach you what? What is it? What is it, chat? Which one no, are you sex. interested in, uh, in pursuing? The Almanac book? The map? Grimoire. The list of ingredients or the grimoire? I like how gnome sex was kind of up to the tied with grimoire grimoire it was up there okay they want the grimoire, the grimoire. okay <laughs> the adventurers approach grimoire. a table of gnomes drinking over the grimoire okay let's see what it says Nasi. rob learn <laughs> Grog learn. Um, Grog and Ratku enter a room where there is a group of gnomes sitting at tables reading an ancient grimoire. Messy. The two adventurers Grog, Grog. approach this group and introduce themselves, claiming to have recently come from faraway lands looking to find a wizard to train them both. Okay, so it looks like the gnomes are were coming here to get trained by a wizard. I wonder what wizard that is, guys. You know, what? what's the next follow-up? Are you going to... Are you going to ask the gnome for details? Are you going to try to take the grimoire? Can't read. Uh, Grog can't, can't read. So read. Ratku, it's kind of down to you. Wait, well, we don't know if Ratku can read. Ratku, what's Ratku, your... Ratku, can you read? What's this your is very important. Can you read? <laughs> Please. Ratku's thinking. Yes. Oh, I can read. <laughs> yes, can read. Eat book. <laughs> There's two minds of Ratku. Okay, so Ratku, this is this is your decision. All right, I'm Eat gonna book. mute. I'm muting Grug and Grug book. because they, they they can't read, so it doesn't matter what they want. Okay, Ratku, this <laughs> is all on you. What do we do with the book? All right, there's this grimoire, and the gnomes that are they've come here to study under the wizard. Eat book. You want to eat the book? Read. Now, is it? Are you gonna read or eat the book? How are you gonna get the book? Because it's the gnomes' book right now. It's not yours, guys. You can't just take it. Unless you're going to try to steal it. What's the plan here? Steal? Okay. So Raku wants to steal the book. Now, Grug and Grog, are you, are you going to help with this at all? Grug and Grog. Are you going to make a distraction? What is, your, what is your move? You could try You know you wanted to eat one of the gnomes. If they're going to steal it, you could... No. Yep, there we go. Grug and Grog seem to be on the same page as me. Yes. All right. Oh. Wait, one sec, Grog mode. They're going Grog mode? Okay, I mean, I'll change the picture. Oh, this is this is intimidating. Grog's Grog's the, Grog's closer to the stomach, so uh, yeah, they're gonna have to go Grog mode Grog for this mode. one. Oh my God, they are going Grog mode. Okay, <laughs> in order to get Gore. the grimoire away from the gnomes, E W Gore. Grog and Grog decides to go Grog. It, sorry, is Grog spelled with two G's or one G? It's Grog and Grog. Yeah, Grog and Grog is one. Yeah, but is Grog mode one? <laughs> Grog, is, Grog, there's only one G per Grog and Grog. Okay, I, I want, sorry, geez, I guess he said that aggressive. Grog and oh, Grog, geez. I'm sorry, you guys have to deal with this. Use Germa. Oh, to steal? Okay, how many different... How many different fucking uh, like ways of distractions do you guys need here? All right, Grog and Grog decides Grog. to go Grog mode and eat one of the patron gnomes one G. at the bar. Yeah, I get <laughs> one G. One G, I get it. One G! Five G. <laughs> Grog mad. Ratku sends <laughs> her baby rat, Jerma, to steal the grimoire while the gnomes are busy dealing with Grug and Grog going Grog mode. All right, let's see what happens. 
Eat Germa. They just want to eat. In order to get the Grim Grog away from the gnomes, Grog and Grog decides to go Grog mode and eat one of the patron gnomes at the bar. No. Raku sends her baby rat Germa to steal the grimoire while the gnomes are busy dealing with Grogan time. Okay, well that's you can push you can push it again to do more. We try? No, no, no. If you do oh. send, it'll generate another thing. Grog and Grog going Grog mode. The patrons all take notice as Grog and Grog devours the gnome on the spot. But before they can react, he gulps down another drink. Oh my uh, god! <laughs> you're still thirsty after drinking the ocean, man? What the fuck? Okay, the, then Love. what happens? Yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting bad. Love. It's time for a break. But when you take a breath a moment later, a little voice calls out, Germa, causing you to freeze up in terror. The bartender approaches and reassures you that she saw no sign of a rat child here earlier. No sign of a rat child. Does that mean Germa snuck away with the grimoire unnoticed? Love Germa. I don't know. I th you, we can do one more, like, Dean Germa. Yeah, let's, let's see what happens, I guess. We'll try one more. Uh, I guess he comes. Meanwhile, your precious book has been stolen by your evil rat minion, oh, and now you must chase Germa. after him. The adventurers set off toward the sewers where they believe their stolen book Wait, will be found. <laughs> okay, Wait, so, the little rat took the little so, rat Germa yeah, took the little rat no. Germa. Here, I'm gonna edit this so it says the right thing. By your evil Germa, <laughs> the little evil rat baby Germa. God, maybe you're onto something, Grog and Grog. They should have killed Eat that Germa. thing forever Eat ago. Germa. They should have eaten that thing. <laughs> evil All right. Germa. Well, you uh. You've obtained the grimoire, which has knowledge, apparently. It didn't, it never specified what the knowledge was. It will teach you, and then it didn't finish the thought. So, you know, it teaches you something, and only Raku can read it. But we do have a magical item now, which might help help us in the, uh, in the coming fight. <laughs> he is, he's a little oh, bit of a bad son. Now, chat, where do we go next? So we, we caught up with Jerma. Jerma, uh, S-U-S. Do we explore the sewer? Uh, I would have to generate that world. That scene, I, I'm I, generating something right now. I'll see if okay, I can get sweet. it. So we can either keep going into the, the sewer or we can visit one of the other locations in town. Um, or uh, we can, I don't know, maybe read the grimoire sure. and see what happens. I generated one if you want to do sewer. Sweet. Yeah, I'd like we can do one on the fly. All right. We going into the sewer. We're following German into the sewer. Uh, I'm going to write this while you send that to me. Uh, the adventurers spank Germa. Follow little baby Germa into the sewer and spank him. Ratku, come on! <laughs> you don't have reclaim, to use violence. <laughs> reclaim the stolen grimoire. But now they're in a stinky sewer. Drink sewer. <laughs> Don't drink what a sewer. thirsty little grog. He's a thirsty lad. Okay, grog and grog. Mommy mode. They don't have to drink all the sewer. Just let him have a sip he's and just let him taste and see that they don't like it. Okay, he's thirsty. curious and uh, decides to Glug taste mode. Mode. the sewer. <laughs> Okay, uh, if you want to send me the sewer image... I oh, put it in there. Okay. 1G. Awesome. All right, so uh, Chad, if this wasn't immediately obvious, um, we are generating and Eight. customizing all of these scenes on the fly, 5G. depending on what you guys decide. So that is how we're using the AI uh, art generator. So just give us a second. 1G. 1G. Grog and Grog, how do you know how many G's are in your name if you can't even read? Ooh, we got you there. <laughs> All right. So Grog I'm in. Grog. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one. It's like when you catch him in a lie. Grog and Grog. <laughs> Minus one. Oh. Grog and Grog is smart. Dude, I like. Sure. I like. <laughs> I like Grog Smart being the fucking like cop yes. out. <laughs> Grog Smart. <laughs> oh, you will. 
Okay, so the adventurers follow a little baby German into the sewer and reclaim the stolen Grimmar, but now they're in a stinky sewer. Greg and Grog is curious and decides to taste the sewer. No, you. The adventurers find themselves chased through a filthy, dark sewage tunnel by a large black rat who steals the almanac book back from them. With oh. only one option left to get it back, our heroes decide to face the challenge of eating one more gnome oh. patron in order what? to turn him. <laughs> Why? Why are we eating another gnome? <laughs> Why are they going back to the bar to eat another gnome? <laughs> uh. Grog, why'd you go back for another gnome? What? Gnome. <laughs> <laughs> eat gnome. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's, let's go back to the bar. Let's, I let's reckon. Let's keep going and see what happens. I guess. Eat gnome. They go back to the bar. Not gnomish not so they can navigate this maze of tunnels faster than the black rat. Oh. They yeah, soon discover the there are several side passages which branch off of this main corridor. One leads northward, while another takes a right and opens up into an area with plenty of bones. Plenty of bones? <gasps> Uh-oh. I can already sort of foresee what's going to be happening in this, uh... Yeah, something scary. Something bones. else is down here, guys. Grog. Eat bones. bones. <laughs> grog and um, Grog, you can eat everything you see. Sooner or later, so. you're going to get a tummy ache. All right, now, <clears throat> what is it? Do you guys want to keep pursuing this rat in the sewers? Eat bones. What? What is the? What is the plan here? You okay, let Grug and Grog have a taste of the bones. No, small taste. Right. Grug and Grog, you can taste the bones. Okay, I'll we'll do this. Grug and Grog, taste some of the bones left behind. Save Germa. Calcium. <laughs> Grug and Grog taste some of the bones left behind. The two gnomes reach the end of the long hallway and come upon a large hole leading downward underground. Two gnomes? It is possible to descend down through this opening if you have enough energy. Okay, I think that's... I think I got confused. Um... Yeah, where are the gnomes located? I... I they just... G. They just wants to eat more fucking gnomes. Um, okay. Let's just go back to... Grug and Grog ate some of the bones. Um, one G. One G. So, yeah, one. Sorry, I, I did say. Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. You're right. I'm sorry, Grog and Grog. This. Um, I, yeah, this is my bad, guys. Uh, G. <laughs> one G. I, yeah, one I got G. It, one G. <laughs> uh, I'll have to story mode. You're right. You're right. Okay. Um, so you guys discover these bones. Are you going to go Saint further Germa. into the sewer? Okay. To save Germa. All right. The two Rob adventurers man. save uh, chase after the little black rat in order to save baby Germa and Eat reclaim Germa. the Grim they want, they Each one wants that rat for different reasons. I, I hope and pray Grug and Grog don't get a hold of this rat. Yeah. Please don't let Grug no. it first. But as they run, they discover that they have lost their way. When they arrive at a fork in the path, one leading north and one turning east, the gnomes have already eaten enough to become a bit more normal. Huh? Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> let's ignore the last part. Do you guys want to go north or east? This is an important decision. This is an actual, like, pivot here. Do you want north or east? I have, I have resolutions for both. East. Ooh, how do they want. both... How did everyone want east? east? What the All hell? Right. Least. The adventurers know to take the east tunnel and Weast. follow it Weast. out of the sewer and into yes, wife. the back alleys of another <laughs> tavern. <laughs> Wait, real quick, what's the marital status of Grug and Grog and Raku? Are you guys on good terms again? Not wife. Okay. Not wife. Now, Raku's insistent they're not wife. <laughs> Grug and Grog not hit wife. him with a yes, wife. <laughs> yes, wife. Rat married. married. <laughs> no, just give you a one way thing, Grug yes, and Grog. Wife. <laughs> yes, wife. Grug and Grog, maybe no. you'll meet another cute, uh, like, fairy, yeah, furry, hairless fish humanoid. Yeah, you might, you might meet someone, you might meet someone out room. there. Uh, okay, so they enter the back alleys of another tavern. The Green Bottle no. Tavern. 
Uh oh. Wait, which one is this? Red this wife. Is... Wait. And just like last time, Raktku discovers that the old drunkard who owns it has found her baby's remains and has brought it inside. Baby's remains? In a fit of rage, she kills him, but now she must go back and fetch him so she can finish his job properly and put him on ice. D. Jerma's dead? D. They didn't. Oh my god, that's so sad. Well, oh no, oh. Raku's in a really bad mood. What will happen next? <laughs> Gruggy oh, Grug, no! Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna eat let Gruggy Grug eat Germa? Finally? I mean, it, it, the little rat remember. is dead. You do have a grimoire. This is, you know, there might be another option Mommy here. Mommy mode. Kill Grug. <laughs> kill Grug, kill Grug. <laughs> two options. <laughs> Guys, well, we, let's stop the fighting amongst the party. Wrong you guys got to figure out what to do here. Okay, I, I like the necromancy. One sec, they're entering Grog mode. Attempts to use the new necromancy. grimoire to resurrect their baby Germa from the dead before Grog and Grog. Grog and Grog can eat his corpse. All right, let's see what happens. Grog and Grog. <laughs> Grog and Grog refuses to wait and eats Germa instead. It's a very painful death for little Germa, leaving behind a whole pile of bones. He does not die completely, though, what? because the no. adventurers carry his body outside into the alleyway where the wind blows away the. What blows away the no. what? <laughs> Omega lol. Stench of death. Meanwhile, Ratku gets Yummy. ready to leave this world Kill. with the old drunk who tried to eat the rat child. But first, he must tell her how he discovered the child was alive in the first place. I say we retcon that last bit. Yeah. Okay. But what, the, I, which part? Just, just the most recent one, because I, I feel like that's a good place for them to interject and, and have like a little... Uh... GGZ. <laughs> well, have a, have a little between the two of them. Also. Yeah. Well, wait, let's... GGZ. <laughs> So wait, it mm -hmm. said that it said he bit into them and Germa, the little Rip rat, Bozo. died. Was the little the dude still kind of Rip alive? He, he was a little bit alive, and then uh, uh, Radku tried to use the grimoire to to bring him back to life. But then Grug and Grog revenge ate him because they didn't want to wait for the <laughs> for the grimoire to kick in. He was bored. Um, War. That was now, Grug and Grog. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm not gonna. Get too much into it, but that was a bit of a dick you. move, dude. <laughs> there, now you got one G in your name. You're welcome. War. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I don't think we expected this. They're kind of at direct odds with each other now. L uh, plus ratio. Yeah, they became enemies. So I thought they were going to go on this journey and be friends together, but Greg Fuck and Grog you. just are dead set on... But see, Greg yeah. and Grog, this is like you've ruined your potential at marriage Greg here. And Grog. You, you you had the, if you would have made friends with Radku. Also, no, you're not gonna make another make another baby. No, that's make that's baby. out of the cards. We're not doing. I'm not doing a <laughs> love making scene. Make baby. Uh, also. okay. So, I, Trevor, honestly, we did not. Also, we did not anticipate something of this level happening that would yeah. drive also. such a rift between them. Uh, well, okay, wait here. Let's wait, ask Ratku. Germa too. No, we're not making. Listen, we're moving right, past I'm, it. I'm You've killed the baby. Grug, 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 you're getting gagged. Goodbye. Ratku, what Ratku, would what would make this okay for Germa you? Germa too. Yeah. What what, what, what would make this better? D. Kill. We're not killing Grog and Grog. Grog and Grog is a main character. <laughs> Maybe we can find you guys a nice, like, stuffed he, he animal can, or something. It's like Skyrim, dude. He goes unconscious, all right? And then he gets back up and goes, grog and grog, and eats something else, all right? Retcon. <laughs> 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 Thank you. That, grog and grog, that is very mature of you. That's very, that's very kind of you, grog and grog. You, would you really vomit Germa for us? Oh, thank... You know, what do we think, Raku? Can we accept that? Can you vomit Germa grog back up? Grog grog. and grog. And then you can try to revive no. it. <gasps> Come on, Raku. They won't accept no. the apology. He said sorry, or they said sorry. Yes. Let's at least let Grug and Grug vomit up 
the the rat coo I mean the little germa okay, yeah, and we'll, see we'll how that. see how rat coo feels about it. Grug and grog. Now feeling guilty about eating rat coo's child. JK. Vomits. <laughs> baby a, a little bit of a mean germa. joke, Grug Back and Grog. Up. Uh you don't eat people so, as a joke. You guys have to learn the way of the humans if you're gonna be here. Her son. Okay, let's see what happens. Kill. As they share tears over the loss of no poor Jerema, Grug and Grug <laughs> notices some black rats sniffing around nearby. Prank. A moment later, a swarm of giant black rats descends upon them and attacks them both viciously, killing a character and making them lose all their equipment as well. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Who died? Wait. It says killing their character and make them lose all their equipment as well. I think Grug and Grog, because it says Grug and Grog. Omega Karma. A moment later. <laughs> Karma! Yeah, Grug and Grog notices out. some black rats sniffing around nearby. A moment later, a storm of giant black rats descend upon them and attacks them both Dude, viciously, killing their out. character. Is it both of them or just Grug and Grog? I think it's Grug and Grog. Grug and Grog enter, enter silence mode while Very we figure small. this out. You guys, okay. so. yeah, dot, we have dot, to dot. this now, guys. All right, you did just die, okay? L plus ratio. Do we, do we, Grug all right, Grug. how about this? We use the image generator, we take the last image of him, and then make him a ghost and see what what happens. Okay, let's but let's try to revive him with the Necrobancy book, maybe. Oh, okay, yeah. What Get him back. Let's talk to then, Raku, because Raku can read, and they're the only ones that can issue. do it. Raku, will you, no. will you resurrect Grug Grog? No. <laughs> Come on, please. Raku, please. No. They can't play otherwise. No. Ghost and Grog. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to hear. Okay. Ghost All right. How about if if you don't revive them, then they are going to come back as Saint a vengeful Germa. ghost somewhere ghost else, and, and and you're going to have to deal with the consequences. Okay. Yeah, they might haunt your ass. All right. I have, I have the image for you. All right. Uh, okay. Ghost and grog. Okay. <laughs> They're like okay with that. <laughs> Oh my god, this is terrifying, dude. It really go it just oh, gets breath. worse. Um <laughs> All right, here's here's how we're going to resolve this. Uh Where is this? Yes. Okay. Um <laughs> first uh let me type this out. After Grug and so Grog scary. dies and respawns as a ghost. Possessed German. Outside. <laughs> Only Grog. Only Grog? <laughs> <laughs> you just want to resurrect one of them? Wait, you know, you... <laughs> a fucking, like, corpse on him. Oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> Dude, Grog looks so fucked up in this new form. This is so Wait, gross. Let me, uh, let me add it now. Zero G. All right, this is the Grog new uh, Grug and Grog. Oh God, Grog is horrible. There's Grug, and then there's Grog. Uh... E W. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grug and Grog dies, and e Grog responds. As a ghost in the sewer. Kill again. Next to <laughs> Raccoon. Grusy. And is sad about his new situation with a dead Grug on his head. Grug and Grog, you gotta enter you gotta enter ghost and grog mode. Ghost say shit a ghost would say. Yeah. Boo. Boo. The two Boo. adventurers begin fighting off these evil black rats, but Boo. are eventually overwhelmed and what? eaten by the creatures. Again. The game ends here! <laughs> no, it doesn't end here! I have a whole you bunch more planned! What are you talking about? Now that you've seen how easy it can be to become a powerful wizard, it's time to start preparing for bigger... Omegalo. What the hell? Oh, come oh on, AI. I had, I had like what a more story. <laughs> what a good story. <laughs> The game God. ends here. <laughs> she was so happy about it. You guys got wiped by rats in a sewer. What the hell do you mean, GG? You guys fucking lost. G -G. You lost so bad.
Rip Bozo. <laughs> we could do a light reset back Easy. to the tavern before they the before the rat G-G-Z. came back if you yeah, want and yeah, just I guess explore we could different do like options. A save state thing. Like we could that's kind of an interesting idea. Just like, like reload a save. Like this ended yeah. in a in a wipe, but that doesn't matter. We can just load the checkpoint. Okay, does that mean we're we're turning off ghost mode for no. Grug and Grog? I guess <laughs> or, uh, Do you guys want to stay a ghost, you know? Yeah, you guys could you guys could stay a ghost. I'm not opposed to that. New game plus. New game plus. Okay. No. So we go to <laughs> Grog. You guys wait, you guys want to stay ghost and grog? Ghost and grog. Alright. Grog and grog. I can't so tell. So you guys save scum uh back no. to the tavern. So that's uh, which scene was the tavern? Tavern was <laughs> I think it was like four. Alright, so you're back in the tavern. Uh, we'll say this is uh, right Grim before alive. you stole the grimoire, okay? Yeah, Germ so, is still alive. Okay, still see, alive. and which also you. means Germa. your guys, you guys are on good terms again. You guys aren't enemies anymore. Yeah, you guys are you're back on good terms. Things are this back how they should the be. Too. Um, and no, now Germa. Hug Germa? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Germa. <laughs> no, Grug, Grug and Grog. Grog. Grug and Grog. Come on now. Behave. Why don't you Grab eat the wife, table or something? Germa. Kiss wife. Kiss friend. Mommy mode. Now, guys, don't <laughs> fail RP Grog. here, okay? You do have. Not wife. Not wife. <laughs> Not you, wife. Uh, Grug you and Grog, are... why don't you guys marry each other? Eat table. That. There, you're not a ghost anymore. You're back to your bloated, uh, fucking drink the sea self. Um, e w. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was a suggestion. Right. I don't. So. E w. We're we're back at the <laughs> the bar. Do you guys want the grimoire? Do you leave the gnome it's, bar? It's only seemed to. I'm cause sorry. I things. I should have suggested that. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm turning their their TTS off. Okay. We're going to leave the bar and we're going to go to the, uh, let's see. <laughs> let's go to 10. All right, back to, to the world map. Yeah. Okay, chat. Your options are you can go to the Gnome Tavern again. You know what? No, you can't go back to the Gnome Tavern. Gnome Tavern's gone. Yeah, let's wipe the Gnome Tavern off no, the uh, no more gnome tavern. record here. You, you can go to the Green Bottle Tavern. It's a different tavern. Walmart. A normal bar. I'm just Hall, asking for Grug and Grog. What's the, the closest theater? thing to a Walmart? Uh, closest thing to Walmart, probably Walmart. Green Bottle Tavern. Grug and Grog, you want to check out Green Bottle Tavern? I hear it's really close, similar to a Walmart. KFC. Yes. Okay. Yes. Green. 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 Target. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so they go to the Green Bottle Tavern. That is number three. Scene number three. Boop. Wait. All right, welcome to the Green Bottle Tavern. This is a this is a goblin tavern, actually. It's filled it's filled with goblins. Grog and Grog don't lot, get any ideas. It's a lot rowdier than uh, than the gnome tavern was. E w. Eat goblin. <laughs> All right, Eat starting goblin. on the story. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens here. The adventurers <laughs> leave. The gnome tavern and head to the goblin tavern. One sec, Grog and Grog, let way. him type a little bit. The tavern is filled with we gotta, raucous. We gotta let him type and then we'll have a turn goblins, to choose. Uh, laughing and cheering and yelling at each other. Uh, Grog and Grog. And Ratku stand at the doorway. All right, let's see what happens. When they step into the hall, they encounter a drunk who starts talking too loud to be heard. They sneak past <laughs> him to the door, 
and then hear a clattering of pots and pans as the cook walks by. Oh, this place seems like a mess. What are you guys going to do in here? Are you going to follow the drunk? I think Your Grog wife. and Grog want to try to maybe seduce a goblin. Goblin wife. Oh, shit. Okay. You, wanna, you guys want to flirt with a goblin? Orgy. Okay, Raku. Okay, yeah. Raku, right. chill. This is Grog and Grog's time. All right, Grog and Grog is taking an action, so we're yes. going to turn off Raku. Uh, What's your pickup TTS. line, Grog and Grog? Yeah. Say, say you show yes. up, you see a pretty little goblin sitting there. What do you say? 1984. Grog and Grog. Okay, they, so they approach. <laughs> goblin D's nuts. Grog and Grog approach a, uh, a goblin woman sitting alone at a table nearby and says... Grog and Grog. Grog and Grog. <laughs> With intent to seduce. Let's see what happens. The goblin stands up smiling and approaches them. She smells delicious. <laughs> the adventurers discuss what it would be like for Grog and Grog to taste her cooking first. Okay, I thought, oh the my god. The goblin agrees. Oh. Okay, I thought they were going to eat the Ooh, goblin, goblin right off the bat, dude. Eat I goblin. <laughs> Oh, guys, no. no, she's offering you guys. She's Grog offering Grog, you she's food. Cook for you, man. Eat goblin. She's gonna cook for you. Come God, on. Grog, Grog and Grog, please don't eat the goblin. This could be your chance at a new goblin wife. Eat goblin. Guys, she okay. wants to make you something to eat. Let's just try the food, and if that doesn't satiate you, then you can eat her, okay? What's the plan, Grog and Grog? Your call. Okay, eat they're gonna food. eat the food. Okay. Grug in Grog Eat Goblin food <laughs> agrees to try the goblin's food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but realizes Go oh, but decides that if it isn't good enough, they will eat the goblin instead. All right, let's see what happens. If you agree, the game will continue. In order to get the grimoire away from the gnomes, Grog and Grog decides to go Grog mode and become the patron gnome. No, wait, bar. don't go back to the gnome bar. Bad. All right, we Grog and Grog went back to the gnome. Grog and Grog looks down and sees a big bowl full of mashed potatoes. Ooh. Raku takes a bite out of one of the potato Rug chunks mode. and discovers a magical effect of the magic of the mashed potatoes. A magical effect of the magic Ooh. of the mashed potatoes? What'd you find in there, Raku? What'd you find in the, in the mashed potatoes? It, it just it tastes good? But what, what magic did it give you? What powers? Yum. Yum. <laughs> Raku. Try again, Raku. Bad. I spray you with water bottle. Thief. <laughs> <laughs> Thief. We have no spellings of thief, dude. We have one misspelled version of Thief. Which one was Grug and which one was Grog? <laughs> Both the heads are like, eh. Thief. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ratku gains the magic powers of warp from these magic potatoes. All right. Warp stone. Let's see what it does. Grog smart. What the hell? Yeah, Grog, you're very smart. All characters start off in this location with five health points HP. Characters can increase their health points in combat or when uh, resting. Okay, retry. <laughs> yes, yes. No, what? What is it? Strength eight, bonus strength, constitution. Oh. <laughs> keeps defaulting to like. Oh, oh. Wait. There are several things available here which can help with gathering the same information thing. about Plumbus. The almanac book gives important dates in history. The map shows local towns okay, entering. Okay, okay, all right. Let's go back. You gain magic powers of warp from these potatoes, allowing these Blame. powers allow Ratku to teleport <laughs> with unstable Blame. energy around a 50 feet radius. Grug and Grog watches yeah. Radku eat his their food with uh, shock. 
because he really he really just did steal it. It's true. In his eyes until he eats some himself. Then, both start to laugh about how amazing this is. As they eat more, the effects on both characters are felt. Both feel oh, incredibly strong and energized. <laughs> <laughs> they, Dude, both I... get, they both get powers. Grug and Grog, how's it taste? Finally getting to eat something you're allowed to eat. Oh wait, little Germa wants oh, some. Oh yeah, Radku Yum. feeds <laughs> some of the magic Yum. mashed potatoes to baby Germa as well. Hoping he gains the power of warp too. Eat Germa. <laughs> Germa enjoys the tasty food. The adventurers decide it's time to find Plumbus. Yes. The goblin girl gets mad when she realizes what Grobengrog was really Kiss doing. Mary Goblin. <laughs> what were you really doing? I think I think they had an ulterior motive now. motive to like try to flirt and marry her. Goblin wife. Maybe okay, Grog and Grog. We will how, let how you, you propose to the goblin before we head out. Mary Goblin. However, okay. You will not eat. We you will not eat, try to eat any other people. Can we agree <laughs> to that? To bargain with him. <laughs> if you if you propose to this goblin, we will not eat anyone else for a while, for a little bit. No, okay. just a little bit, like maybe ten minutes. Steal wife. Greg and Grog apologizes. No. Wait, oh, Greg and Grog. Realizing the mistake they made, decides the only solution Steel wife. is to propose to the goblin girl. Fuck. Rug and Rug <laughs> gets, <Cuck. laughs> gets down on one misshapen <laughs> knee and asks... The goblin. This is it, Grug and Grog. Girl to be their wife. All right, let's see what happens. Misshapen, misshapen. All right, let's go. Come on. When asked why, he explains that because they have discovered that the goblin has the magical properties of warps. But she says no and oh, leaves. Oh. The adventurers decide it's best to keep going toward the oh, dark wizard Columbus. Oh, buddy, oh, that's oh rough. That is rough. She just says no. Grug, Grug and Grog, I will say that the I'm decision to propose after <laughs> Grug and Grog. <laughs> you, oh, you, I just want to. I just want to let you learn from your actions here. You can't propose to somebody the day you meet them. That doesn't. Yeah, much less the yeah. sentence Goblin. you meet them. Yeah, they. She made you food, and you proposed Rizzo. right on the spot. Eat goblin, which is like kind of cool in like a you know impact way, but not really realistic, you know, even for a goblin. Uh, <laughs> eat goblin. You really want to eat that goblin? Huh? I I let, don't let, think that's a healthy way of doing the goblin. projection. Let me the fucking okay, goblin. Fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Bracky wants to propose. <laughs> wait, goblin. wait. Let's try that first. Wrong okay. Mode. Before the goblin girl leaves, Ratku grabs her hand and asks if she would instead consider <laughs> marrying them. Grug and Grog watches. <laughs> she thinks about it for a moment and then accepts the proposal with a kiss. Oh. <laughs> She tells them we, they can meet up with her later tonight. The two no. gnomes continue off in the <laughs> distance after making plans with the goblin woman. Oh the two gnomes? Unbelievable! Grog and Grog. Thief! <laughs> <laughs> they stole my potatoes, they stole my wife. <laughs> Cocked. <laughs> oh my Krug and Grog, I'm really sorry, dude. That's rough, buddy. That's, that's real rough. If you guys want, I can sort of coach you on how to talk to people and how to have these exchanges. Kill wrath. Guys, no. See, you're gonna make things worth, worse if you try this. No. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, God, not again. <laughs> okay. We're gonna fast forward to later tonight uh, at the wedding, Kill okay? Rat. Wait, you're gonna do the Jeremiah wedding? Alright, let me generate a wedding image. 
Uh, here, uh, you can use one of my existing scenes. Okay. Uh, use <laughs> scene number 12. Scene number 12? Okay. Yeah. Let's see that. The Adventurers. Cute. <laughs> Crash wedding. The Goblin. Uh, girl. Uh, plan to have their wedding at the... Uh, at the magical mushroom forest just outside <laughs> of town. Because Ratku doesn't know many other people in town, <laughs> she decides to invite Grog and Grog, even though he's still pretty sore about losing their goblin girl. Grog and Grog, you're not marrying Germa. Krongo. Raku, are you really going to ban no. the, the other player in this experience from going to your wedding? That's like They'll a watch from afar. Cold. They'll watch from afar, Raku. Yes. Oh my yes. god. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grog and Grog. You're going to have to wait outside, apparently. Crash wedding. Even though Ratku <laughs> went on this journey with Grug and Grog, Cook. she decided not to invite them to her wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and so he is forced to watch the proceedings from 100 feet away outside the location. The fucking grog. Mushroom <laughs> forest. <laughs> Only grog? You invite grog but not grug? Okay. I have the prompts. Uh, do you have the wedding thing almost ready? Yeah, one second. Fuck you. <laughs> yes. You can go ahead and go forward with it and I'll do this and I'll have this ready for you in a sec. Mom okay, goodness. I'm gonna, how about this, what if I, I'm gonna switch to the, <sighs> the scene before the wedding no, is added, you. and then we can add the wedding <laughs> no you. Okay. So that's number 12. Ta-da! Oh, no. Oh. I said, ta-da! Welcome to the what? forest venue. No you. Let's see what happens. When the night comes, Ratku goes back to the tavern while Grug and Grog remains by the entrance, watching the whole thing from afar. At the edge of the village, near the magic mushrooms, the goblins begin building an archway for the ceremony. Aw, oh, the, all the oh. goblins are helping. It's a whole it's a whole event. All the family. Although it, I don't think Ratku Ratku, do you have anyone attending the wedding from your side, aside from Germa? Your, your child? <laughs> That's so sad. They don't have anyone coming to the wedding. Hmm. I don't know if Cosmo. mine is working right now. They got quiet. Oh, cool. Let me see. Let me refresh it. One oh, sec, cool. I'm trying to generate this wedding. Sorry, it's taking a second. So. I think the widget may have gotten funky with mine. I'm Try refreshing it, it, refreshing it. Like, yeah. Yeah. There they Your are. Mouth. You're back. Arson. Want to invite Goku? Scream. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Call Saul. Uh, I don't think Saul well, has a number in this universe. Bad Ratku! Arson. Ratku, stay in the cannon. Fail RP, Ratku! Ratku, any more fail RP and I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm erasing your wedding. I'm throwing Germa at the wall oh, cool. and splattering yeah. him. We're gonna let Grog and Grog into the wedding if you if you keep this <laughs> up, okay? Plumbus. Match. Minus one. Wait, Plumbus? <laughs> you wanna invite the dark wizard Plumbus to your wedding? Minus one. Are you just trying to skip to the end by by Plumbus. inviting the wizard in? Yes. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. I. You know. I hadn't yes. considered this. Uh, but minus one. Sure. Um. You know. Maybe this. This was your plan all along. Okay. We have warp powers. That's true. Beat Plumbus. You think that's enough to defeat the wizard? I mean, to Greg and Greg, that might be a good idea. On. What? What are they saying? I can't. I can't hear what they're saying. Oh, now. they. They want to. Oh, uh, we'll tell you later. We'll tell you later. Okay. I'm gonna refresh that. Plumbus. Germa sniper. <laughs> he, I, guys, Germa's a baby rat. I don't know if he's going to be able to to take out Plumbus. Very <laughs> Plumbus. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can't generate a wedding. I've been trying. It's just not working. Okay, that's fine. Rat coup. Uh, we'll use the, the theater of the mind. Rat coup doesn't have many <laughs> locals to invite to their wedding so they oh. try a hail mary mary and invite the dark wizard plumbus in case he decides to show up All right, we'll see what happens. As the last preparations are made, the bride enters through the portal, holding a the bouquet portal? of glowing flowers. As the vows are spoken, Plumbus appears behind the groom. <gasps> the goblin girl is startled when she sees Plumbus. Plumbus! Actually, there's no groom. They're both brides. Change that. Mary Plumbus. Oh no! Grogan, Grogan what happened Grogan, to the plan? What happened I, to the plan? What are you gonna do? We were gonna eat Plumbus when he got here, but they fucking changed it last minute. Well, so where is Grog and Grog right now? We were just kind of chilling outside, I thought. Yeah, they're they're a bit outside the venue. But can Grog and Grog see Plumbus from all the well, way over here? Well, it's a mushroom forest. I was kind of expecting them to kind of be peeking over. And see Germa you. sniper. Wait, that that is true. They said Germa was a sniper earlier. Okay. Well, we'll try two different things. Uh, Grog and Grog, you just oh, got. Oh, yeah, you do have warp. True. Good. Or good memory, Grog and Grog. All right, Grog and Grog uses their power of warp. Take the shot. To <laughs> jump. Okay, this is gonna be nuts. Grog and Grog uses the power of warp to jump. Take the shot. To <laughs> jump to the altar in an attempt shot. to eat Plumbus. Or, are they eating or trying to marry Plumbus? What, Wait, Plum okay, happening? Grog and Grog, what did you guys decide? Marry or eat Plumbus, yeah, the evil a... wizard of this universe? Okay, great. <laughs> an attempt to propose to the dark wizard Plumbus. Save wife. At the same time, the baby rat Germa Man. takes Take the shot. a long range shot with their crossbow at the dark wizard Plumbus in an attempt to snipe him now that he's out in the open. All right, let's see let's what happens. See how this is all happening at the altar. It could go many different ways. Let's see. 50 calories. <laughs> Guys, I don't think he has a 50, 50 calorie calories. rifle, okay? I don't think we can use that. <laughs> so it's, my, my vision, it's a fantasy world, okay? He doesn't have 50 calories. 50 calories? <laughs> that the AI said 50 <laughs> calories. <laughs> yeah, it's a tiny, it's a tiny crossbow. It only, it's only 50 calories if you ate it. All right, let's see what happens. Derma's first arrow misses. <gasps> Grog and Grog's proposal ends short and fails, but causes confusion among wedding guests. Plumbus laughs and runs off before the adventurous. No, oh, you guys Dude, fucked it. No one wants Grog and Grog. When are you gonna get that through that dumb, that dumb double skull of yours? <laughs> D. And oh. oh my god, dude! You, you had Cry. your shot and and was you missed the shot. Grog and Grog runs away. This is a disaster. What are you going to do? Are you going to follow life. him? Or you finish the... Yeah, uh, they could the, just finish the, the wedding. wedding. I mean... You could finish the wedding, but Very then you'll life. lose... You'll Eat lose... Goblin. 
You're gonna eat the wife? <laughs> the dude, Krug and Krug are in a sorry state. This is like, this hurts to see. What a sad yes. little creature, man. Okay, uh... Here, let's just let the AI decide. Let them, let them, like, have the wedding start to, like, continue as, uh... So Grog and Grog try to eat, maybe. Continue or oh, or yeah, I guess I... let's continue, maybe. I don't know. Alright, let's see. It's hard to determine. <gasps> the adventurers decide they should follow the, the evil shot. wizard and investigate where he may be heading next. Grandy Port. The adventurers no. arrive at Grandy Port. It has been one zero 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 years since the <laughs> Age of Dragons and the realm has finally settled into a calm Very since wife. the last dragon died. Oh. Ill. <laughs> Undo. Okay, all right, all right. How about, uh, how about this? The oh. adventurers... Uh, Rat wants to stay and finish oh. <laughs> the wedding w. instead of e chase after the dark wizard Plumbus. And maybe just as an Grug afterthought, and Grug. Grug and Grug really want to eat the goblin, really but... Really wants to eat the goblin <laughs> bride. Alright, we'll see what happens, but we put in both of your wishes. We'll see what the AI decides. Eat goblin. Oh. So they decide to leave right away. As they are walking back down the path, they run into the dragon mother herself. Whoa. She's uh, still retry. <laughs> And as the adventurers go to go look for the dark wizard Plumbus, they realize they have a problem. Nope, retry. What did you put that do say or story? A uh, story. So they both agree it would be best for the two to split up for the night. Oh. The goblin girl disappears into the magic mushroom no! forest. The next day, Grad and Grog gets up early to go look for the Dark Wizard Plumbus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, I am cracking up at the, the rivalry that is formed between Grug and Grog and Gratku. Yeah, this is this is so much more hostile than I expected. Uh okay, so No bitches. <laughs> Like, yeah, oh, you were one to talk, Grug and Grug. Yeah, Grug and Grug, you've been rejected. G G Z. Constantly, okay? At least Rack who found a wife. Find wife. Okay. Keep him, bear in mind, Grug and Grug, you wanted to marry this goblin first. <laughs> you guys are just petty. Rack go goes looking for their runaway goblin wife while Grug and Grog. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Cries looking for dark for the dark wizard. Grog and Grog. Plumbus. <laughs> By themselves. By themselves. <laughs> they stumble upon a hidden cave filled with traps and strange creatures with tentacles. Oh god. After a long fight against some of these creatures and many failures, the duo find a way out from the underground tunnel. What dragon uh, do you want to marry, Greg and Grog? I don't think there is a the dragon, dragon, is dragons it? dragons are dead, man. Dra Remember it's the... the age of dead dragons. It's the age of dead dragons. I yeah. think I think it said there was one... Mary Tick? What is that? What are you talking about, Greg and Grog? Uh, they just fought tentacles in a, in a cavern, apparently. I... I think we have lost the plot a little bit. We could go back to the wedding, uh, but also, I, I, I say know, we d we d we ditch the rivalry with the the wedding, and we just try to move on here. Okay, all right. The wedding happens. No. no. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But yeah, well, there's surely right. there's some compromise we can come up with between Grug and Grog and Ratku. Okay, Raku, you get your wife, Grog and Grog. What, what, what would want? make what would make you guys yeah, what, happier? What would make you happy? In order to forgive Raku. Eat goblin. No, because <laughs> see that directly interferes with Raku's okay, wish. What if, of... they ate, what if they ate an extended family member? Yeah, we, would you like to eat one of the goblin Can we sisters? Share wife. Okay, that's not possible, Grog and Grog. 
you, that you've Very already much. been rejected. You're making this difficult, buddy. What toy? What toy can we can we get you? Okay, Raku's got their goblin wife. What what do you what do you want? Just give him like a, give him something to play with. Mother-in-law. <laughs> Look, we we're offering up the mother-in-law. How? What what more could you ask for? Happy meal. My, my widget messed up. I think. Gun. <laughs> you want a gun? Gun. Gun. This is this is just set. It seems like a constant one party member pining over another, and just them constantly rejecting them over and over. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, I didn't anticipate this. Um. <laughs> All right. How about this? Uh. The Dark Wizard runs off. Uh, okay. The wedding resolves. And Walmart. Ratku uh, kisses the goblin girl. They have a happy time. Grog and Grog is hungry <laughs> and feels they will eat soon. Uh, they decide to. Chase after the dark wizard Plumbus. <laughs> no time for honeymoon. The dark wizard Plumbus is trying to raise the dragons, guys. Come on. They decided to have the dark wizard Plumbus. What happens next? Again, to capture or kill him once more. You have reached your destination. <gasps> Stay true. Stay true. There is one location here, your room. There are no monsters inside. What? This is not a gnome's tavern. It this isn't we're a gnome's back, tavern. Wait, we're True. back in the gnome's uh, tavern? Okay, is that what well, it is? We're going to jump to... We're going to get, you know, I'm going to move the story along quite a bit. Uh, no, guys, it was... I had a muted. Room, which is... When the text is not at the bottom, uh, the text-to-speech isn't on. Okay, scene 11. Scene 11? Yeah. Where will we end up? Oh! You what? arrive at the state room, which is where the Council of Dwarves manage all governance in this town. You see a bunch of dwarves uh, <laughs> arguing about... These are, guys, these are not gnomes. Yeah, these aren't gnomes. It said this is not a gnomes Very tavern. Dwarf. It's actually... Uh, you want to marry the dwarf. Okay, this is, these are like the most marry influential dwarf. kind of government. <laughs> Leave! But I, I, I designed this scene specifically for marry this part dwarf. of the story. It's the perfect moment for, for you to talk to the dwarf's council and get to get more information about. You want to leave? Are you sure? But it's the perfect time. You <laughs> Raku, can talk to come them, on, right? chill, dude. Raku, come on. chill. Cool. Yeah, Raku's got a wife now. Raku doesn't really care about Raku's it. Raku's retiring oh, from adventuring. Leave. Grog and Grog, you're going to leave too. We're not marrying the dwarf. <laughs> Stay. Okay. You know, all right, fuck it. They leave. Scene 10. Mary you're dwarf. back in, in the oh, world Retire. over map. <laughs> Where do you go now? You Okay, I'm going to give you some new options. You can go to uh, the, the, Sex wife. the little people village. Uh, you can go to the orchestra. You can go to uh, the deep dark Walmart. woods, or you can go to Walmart. The lady tree. I oh, wait, lady tree. What is that? The lady tree. That's, Greg and Greg, uh, I don't want to get your hopes up here, but lady tree. Lady there tree. is the word <laughs> lady. Lady tree. Lady tree. <laughs> lady tree. <laughs> Look how many you're typing. Lady tree. Lady tree. Lady tree. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly their attention is peaked. Lady tree. All Lady right. Tree. The adventurers decide to head outside of town. <laughs> Mary in tree. Search for the Lady Tree. All right, Charborg, when you're ready, activate scene 13. <gasps> Mary Whoa. Tree. The Lady Tree. Mary Tree. Well, guys, ladybugs. Wow, the Lady Tree is filled with giant red ladybugs. Scuttling everywhere. They're the I size do. of your face. EW. <laughs> Scene 
Sorry, guys. I thought, listen, I, I'm with you. I thought it was going to be a lady. E W. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> Eat bugs. <laughs> Eat bugs. Eat Okay. I don't see any reason why Grug and Grog can't have a bug or two. Yeah, they can have a bug or two, sure. Okay. Burn tree. Rat Coo and Grug and Grog arrive at the Lady Tree, a giant tree outside of town covered in giant red ladybugs. Rat Coo seems disinterested as they are busy thinking about their new goblin wife. However, Grug and Grog is hungry and decides to eat Arson. a few bugs while wow, they're actually agreeing on burning Trust. the tree. <laughs> going, going hole. <laughs> <laughs> the way they said that. Going hole. <laughs> I didn't get to hear that one. Okay. Sometimes it messes up. Here. Well, all right, let's see how it goes. Go, go in all. <laughs> all right. Trussy. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they say about the bugs, and then we can go in the hole. Trussy. He wonders how much they'll go taste like hole. potato. <laughs> a nearby bug scares away another and eats it instead. <gasps> this shows a magic effect of warp on this creature. Whoa. The bugs Gun can Rog asks Ratku if she'd be willing to share her magic powers with her husband. Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> I think we've That's, got. Uh, uh, yikes. Not wife. Not wife. <laughs> uh, Ratku not reminds wife. Rat wife. Grug and Grog <laughs> that they are not, in fact, married. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, did Rat I miss wife. Wait. No, yeah, the Wait. AI implied they're married, but it's just it was just that Grug and Grog thought they were married. Yeah, Grug and Grog. Rat remember Mark remember you're not married to the rat, unfortunately. Constant insisting divorce. That they are. <laughs> rat coup restraining order. Instead <laughs> suggests they go inside the big hole in the middle of the lady tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that a good idea, guys? Yeah, Grog and Grog, let's go oh, see so. what the hell's in this big hole in the tree. Uh, uh oh. It looks a bit like a giant vagina with. Dimensions. Okay, Grog and Grog, let's get out of the hole. the hole. There's a fountain where you can drink and cool yourself down while like swimming in water and then up to some sort of throne for go royalty. Go hole. <laughs> he sounds so excited now. Go in hole. hole. <laughs> Trussy. Uh. Go, go in hole. <laughs> Omegalore. Trussy. <laughs> okay. Hey, no, Going it's all right. Hole. Sharper got planned. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, it's, it's, all, it's all fine. Okay, the, the adventurers go into the tree's giant hole, and uh, what they find inside amazes them. Uh, if you want to turn on scene 16. Sit on the okay. phone. Mary tree. Inside the tree... Is a little village of people oh. made of bread. Whoa. It's a little bread village of cute little independent. Look, Rug and Grog, they're so cute. Eat. They're, uh -huh. they're, Wait, <laughs> guys, no, guys, come on. They're, you can Eat. tell by looking at them, they're completely sentient and 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 self-sustaining. They're living they happy little culture. lives. They have a happy little life. And <laughs> bread. In, in fact, from looking at them, it it seems like they actually Eat it's all. like a utopia. Uh, uh, I'm disturbed sure? for hundreds of years, Grug and Grog. Yeah, this place has been left untouched because it's been in this hole of a giant tree. You really gonna eat, Germa? Eat, eat, <laughs> eat. <laughs> Fifty calories. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Don't care. Okay. Um, Fifty calories. <laughs> Inside. <laughs> the giant lady tree. Grog and Grog and Ratku find a fantastical village of tiny people made entirely out of bread. Butter. <laughs> Butter. These little bread villagers 
are going about their daily lives without a care in the world. That is, until <laughs> Krog and Krog oh, no. arrive and begin scarfing them all down as they scream little bread screams. Bread village is toast. Bread village is toast. Yum. Yeah. Grub and grub gobbles the entire place, and even the local godlike figure Yum. named Elvira who comes by to yell at them. <laughs> Grud and Grog decide to take a nap after eating so many delicious little bread folk. <laughs> Dude, someone he made Elvira the oh, local gee. god? Someone comes up and goes, what the fuck are you doing? And then he eats them too. <laughs> he, gets, he, he just falls asleep. <laughs> Look, I didn't want to say anything, guys, but I had written in the notes here, Elzira oh, uh, actually had like the god-killing sword for Plumbus, um, and you, you would have actually been able to just kind of skip to the end if uh, you hadn't ate them right away, but... Uh, uh, that's okay. They're asleep. Um, let them rest. They've had yeah, a long nope. day. Yeah, let let the big guy, big guys rest. I guess uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they finally agree on something. Oh my god, I'm dying, dude. Hon the Grug and Grog woke up to say that. <laughs> They're dead Don't asleep. Care. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> um, well, do you head further into Oscars. the giant tree? Uh, or do you go back to town? You know, you, you do notice uh, there. it seems to go deeper. Vomit it sword. <laughs> Which one is it, guys? Do you want to go deeper into the woods, or do you want to head back? Deeper. Okay. Wait on Greg and Grog. Deeper. Oh, okay. They seem right. to be in agreement. Well, deeper. As you go deeper into, uh, <clears throat> well, this this scene is dead. Uh, we come across scene 14. 14. Whoa. Inside the tree is a, a, a whole ecosystem, Daddy. including what seems to be an old man living in an abandoned kind of shack, right? <laughs> and he's living alone. It seems like it's kind of like an old hermit. And he, he eyes you as you two approach. Call, call wife? Eat man? Okay. Grog and Grog, do you have any other... Uh... <laughs> okay, marry or eat. That's really his only two. <laughs> My widget keeps screwing up. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Grog and Grog, why don't we try talking to somebody for once? That could marry be cool. Man. Marry man. Okay, see, and the way this you marry life. somebody no. is you get to know them a little bit. Yeah. Let's talk to them. Let's see what the hell they got going on down here. They've been down here for who knows how long. They might have some even some more oh, bread life. people. All right. After eating the oh, little life. bread village, the adventurers are, and enjoying oh. a well-earned <laughs> nap, the adventurers head further into the magic tree and discover an old hermit man living inside wink grog and grog approaches the old hermit wingman oh, oh, oh wingman yeah Haku? i like this in an attempt to make a connection 50 calories ratku decides to play wingman for Grug and Grog, wink, as they try to get a W just this once. <laughs> they want to wink at him too. Okay, as they thanks, thanks, as they wink. <laughs> this is gonna work out, Grug and Grog. I'm feeling really is, confident. I, I, I do too. Look, you, you, you have Ratku, the master charmer bard, at your side. Let's see what happens. 
and pee. The old hermit begins telling tales of his past life, including being the dark Red wizard friend. before he became a hermit. Wait, what? As he talks about the dark wizard days, rats emerge oh. from holes around him and eat mm. him alive. No! <laughs> Wait, no! I just can't. <laughs> Crooking Kron no. cannot win. I don't understand, dude. You don't get any wins, no. dude. What the fuck? Krog and Krog, I'm sorry. The rats came back. What, like, what, uh, what I don't understand is, no. was this man just going to get eaten by rats today? Like, he's been down here doing his thing. Is yeah, he's Did been he just fine for so coincidentally long. get eaten by rats the second we show up? That is okay. so do, unfortunate. Eat rats. Do, we, do we want to redo or do you want to do you roll with this? I say we roll with the punches, dude. Okay. The, di right. the dude died. <laughs> This is gonna make the next scene very confusing. Then okay, well, uh, no, we we if you have something no, in no. mind, we can <laughs> redo. Do you want to redo? Everybody okay, seems okay. to want to redo. Let's redo. All right, all right, we'll re we'll retry because this is the, the rare W for for yeah, Grog and yeah, Grog. yeah. This this time, this time, Grog and Grog. Unfortunately, when they do this, he starts yelling at them and scaring the shit out of both of them. <laughs> After this, Raku tries again to be friendly, but still gets yelled at by this guy. <laughs> Damn, this guy gotta calm down. D. D. Oh. I'm sorry, oh, Grug and Grog. Grug, Grug and Grog. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't in the cards. Maybe Kill you're man. unlovable. Kill. Eat man. <laughs> oh my god. Cry. Is, your, is violence the only answer, guys? I mean, what about... There... Uh... <laughs> Maybe beating. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Yes. The two decide they <laughs> don't like this rude man very much and decide to kill and eat him. 50 calories. After chasing <laughs> him into his, uh, his cabin. All right, and now we can switch Wrong to mode. scene 15. Which is inside the cabin. You chase them into the cabin. Let's see what happens. He's so he's such a friendly looking dude. Why is he still? Yeah, I, I, I thought this would go differently, but <laughs> here we are. Mommy mode. <laughs> Once inside the hut, they notice it smells terrible. They kill the old hermit man anyway and start devouring their food. <laughs> there is no magic on the dead body, however. When the old hermit's ghost appears in front of them, it says, You have murdered me. <laughs> oh, <that's> so sad. <laughs> Wait, I want to try to generate an image for this. Eat ghost. Eat ghost. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to eat the ghost, guys? Rip bozo. Oh. <laughs> hey, ghost. <laughs> bozo. Wait, I want to see if I can generate an image of this ghost. GGZ. <laughs> Zero <laughs> calories. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's generated something here. Okay, this okay, is a little easy, freaky. Easy. Here's the ghost, uh... The ghost cabin. The ghost man. Oh, shit. Where is this? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Uh, it's just the sound they're making. Oh, oh, it's not showing up for me. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah. Ah. The silent scream. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did this. That's you guys are screwed up. <laughs> Triple A. Dude, uh, Raku's screaming the four A's. Ghost. 
Uh, okay, all right. You want to eat the ghost? You, fuck it. We'll eat the ghost. Eat ghost. After... <laughs> after a finishing... brief scream. <laughs> after, yeah, after a brief shriek of shock, the adventurers turn their attention to the ghost and look at one another. It's zero calories. So why not? Says Ratku. They begin to eat the ghost. The ghost screams zero calories in otherworldly scream. And it mixes with another sound coming from outside. Huh? Oh. Grog. Run grog. <laughs> it sounds like something being dragged across a hard floor. The adventurers hear more noise from upstairs, along with what seems like moaning from below stairs. Huh? Both Raku and Grungrog know that they heard screaming Grungrog. from somewhere else in the house earlier that morning. That morning? Let's get rid of that part. Moan. <laughs> yeah, right, Grungrog. What do you guys explore? Do you explore... I mean, I, I thought this was just a shack, but we can keep going. Dude. There's oh, an upstairs, go, apparently. Yeah, do you want to go upstairs? Do you want to go downstairs? Which one? Moan. Moan. Please. Oh, they have conflicting Please. stairs. <laughs> up. All right, you want to go upstairs? All right, if they go upstairs, uh, Miss Wife. Raikou, don't be such a baby. You've been away for like a day. Miss Wife. All right, Charborg, enable scene 19. 19, enabling. They go upstairs and... Whoa! Uh, Fuck you. Wait. They go upstairs and... <gasps> Who is that? Fuck you. They're met with a terrifying Mary. character. Mary. Who is this? Who is this horrifying creature Mary. that we're afraid of? We're um. afraid of them. This is a scary <laughs> individual. This is someone we fear. Be right too. Mommy. <laughs> Raku, bad. Mommy. Wingman. Okay, oh, we wingman. could go back. <gasps> yeah. Okay. The adventurers head upstairs Mary. to explore the sound. Wingman. Awoga. Eerie oh, okay. sound, and they discover a spectral woman in glowing oh, okay. green <laughs> sitting on a throne of wink clouds <laughs> and string. Seduce. Okay. Um. She eyes them with a Boom. ghostly stare, and they hold her gaze. Amina, Amina. Amina, Amina. <laughs> All right, let's see what the AI wants. <gasps> what? Our name is Elvira. She is Elvira. also known as Goddess of Baked Goods. <laughs> charm. Lunch lady. <laughs> this is all the information we have on her. She looks over the two heroes before looking back down at some paper strewn around her feet, which seem to indicate... Oh, well. Lunch lady. This is the ghost Mary. of the person you ate. Grog and Grog, remember? In the, in the bread village? Merry lunch lady. I, are you sure she's going to want to marry you after you eat it? She might be holding a little bit of a grudge, Grog and Grog. Yeah, let's see. Mary. Lunch. This is the ghost of the bread villager. That Grug and Grog ate Don't care. <laughs> earlier. She looks much more powerful and 
alluring now in her true form of lunch. Yeah, apologize. Lady. Maybe apologize to her, Grug and Grog. Yeah, Grug and Grog, what do you, uh, how are you going to approach this? Grudge and Grog. Grudge and Grog? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Grug and Grog mumbles. Sorry. Sorry <laughs> to the lunch lady as he, as they realize. JK. <laughs> realize they JK. were the one that ate them earlier. Let's see what happens. Grog and Grog are hungry and feel they will Flirt. eat soon. Uh oh. Raku tries to ask the lunch lady if they can eat her, but it oh. turns out that ghosts aren't real and therefore cannot be eaten. Oh, well, well you that there you have it. Sorry, guys. Can't. Yeah, can't eat them. But hey, there is still one more option on the table, Grog and Grog. You think of what Flirt. I'm thinking? <gasps> flirt. Mary. Grug and Grog. Let's have Grog and Grog flirt a little bit. Yeah, I think you're right. Grog and Grog needs a dub here. Raku, can you, uh, are you willing to wing, wing rat here? All right, wing rat. Love it. Grog and Grog approaches the spectral woman and says, what do you say? What's your line, Grog and Grog? Grog and Grog. <laughs> okay, I, we, we knew that was coming. Wink, Grog and Grog and winks. Grog and Grog. And winks at her. Ratku backs up Grug and Grog by. What do you do, Ratku? How do you back up Grug and Grog? Use charm. By using <laughs> their charm to emphasize how great Grug and Grog is. All right, let's, see how, let's see how it works. This will surely go well, Grug and Grog. The ghost woman tells them to stop and that there was no way for Grug and Grog to oh, see a okay. ghost or talk to a ghost without charm getting smell. eaten themselves first by the same ghost they tried to seduce with charms and flattery. G oh, oh Grug and Grog. Fail RP. You, can't, you can't talk to me until G I eat you. Wait, is that a proposal? I, I'm not sure. G you guys want to be eaten? You've done a lot or of eating this adventure. Maybe with it. Eat me. <laughs> Maybe Boy, the table should be turned a little. After me. some thought, Grug and Grog says, Vor. Okay, eat me. <laughs> and Mom. presents himself to the lunch lady to be consumed. Eat me. All right, let's see what happens. Watch. <gasps> when they do this, the spirit of Elvira melts oh, away into nothingness, leaving behind only the dried-out skeleton of what used to be a large woman. Raku feels uncomfortable watching this, so she starts D. looking around in order to avoid staring at the skeletal <laughs> remains of Elvira. <laughs> Another, Another L, L for <laughs> Grog. He, he was threatened to be eaten alive and said, oh. okay, eat me, and then and he did not He fucking turns to bones. <laughs> Grog and Grog, I'm sorry, dude. Yikes, You man. guys have just, just taken an onslaught of L's tonight. Cry. Cry. It's okay. Well, There's probably more people who won't die in front of you. Die at the thought bones. of talking to you. Necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, necromancy. Uh, no bitches. We don't have the Grimoire anymore. Oh, we yeah. on that, didn't we? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's no... Grimoire Sorry, Grog and Grog. Canon. Sorry, guys. Uh, but something else happens. As uh, the, the maiden of this realm vanishes, you get jettisoned out of this green space and land... Bum, bum, bum... In scene 18. Whoa. You emerge ah. from the green obelisk that the freaking uh, ghost lady was that in. Eyes of cringe. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. Oh, and what you see in Sweet. front of you is none other than ah. a hidden tower in the woods. Could it be? It smells of dark wizard energy coming from inside, oh, and you hear cackling. 
Grog and Grog, I don't think this is Ohio or Walmart. This might be something Please. a little more sinister. This Please. might possibly be the, the Plumbus oh. Tower. Now, you want to go home. Oh. Oh. Um. Leave. Mary Plumbus. <laughs> this wife. Now, you do know that this is almost certainly where the Dark Wizard Plumbus is plotting his whole, you know... Leave. <laughs> You're just gonna leave? Yeah, yeah, use this as motivation. There's one more chance to get There's Grug and Grog a... Uh, this is your last... Sure. Okay. Grug um, and Grog, you guys could potentially... What if you woo Plumbus? Not Mary they, Plumbus. It's, you know... It, go home. You just want to go home? It's it's fine if you don't if you don't want to go in there. I'm not gonna you know this we is can't a, this make is a, you a choose your own adventure. We can't make you. Okay. <laughs> Mary Plumbus okay, and Raccoon. I mean, okay, oh, looks are, like are you coming around. Arson. Arson. You want to burn? We it? can do a combination of all. Let's see how it plays out. Let's go one step at a time. Let's start by maybe we approach the wizard and try Arson. to romance them a little bit. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting for confirmation from Grug and Grog. How does that sound, Grug and Grog? Either you go in there... Plumbusy. Okay, they're in. <laughs> that sounds like confirmation to me. All right. Uh, yes. With scene 20, they enter... Ooh! The Wizard's Tower and are met with none other than the Dark Wizard Plumbus, clad in purple... Uh, wizard garb. <laughs> Awooga. <laughs> and Awooga. and the Raku, do not be rude to Plumbus's, I mean, Grog and Krog's Hot. wife here, please. Hot. <laughs> There's, you can see, uh, he's Awooga. got a pillar of dragon bones behind him and he's doing some freaking magic Seduce. in it. And, and you, and he locks eyes with you as you arrive and he, and he smirks also Flirt. as he knew you were coming. Ugly. Okay. Let's get uh, this party started. Wink. The adventurers turn to leave and Daddy. stumble across the chamber of uh, Plumbus. the dark <laughs> wizard Plumbus. I do want to point out, Grug and Grog, every time you've winked himself. at somebody, they have died or Wide like lip. tried to eat Wide you. Lip. <laughs> Maybe a different approach than winking. The two stand facing this uh, scary adversary and decide <laughs> what to do about him. Charm spell. Oh, charm spell. Okay. Kiss. Now, I don't know if you have any magic, Raku, because you've... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we have it for like... Wait, you have warp. You have the power of warp. That's all you have, okay, guys? You have warp because you got it Arc. from the fucking... Uh, Wait, yeah, yeah. mashed potatoes. Rack who's a bard, maybe bard. play a little... Yeah, you, you know, yeah, you're a bard. You don't necessarily have magic spells unless you earn them, which you, you have warp. You do have, you can, like, play a, an instrument if you want. That's fine. What do you want to do? You want to sing? Play music? <laughs> okay. Play music. Warp into DMS. <laughs> warp into, warp into DMS. his DMS. Wonderwall. <laughs> uh, okay. Ratku and Grug and Grog look at one another and nod. Wonderwall. Ratku breaks out into a beautiful rendition, a beautiful song that sounds like Stroop. Like oh, well, hold on, Grug and Grog. Let's Grug see how Grog. the music is received, and then we'll go from there. Strip tease. No, that's more like it. A tease. Grug and Grog. Uh, begins to dance and perform a strip tease in the hopes of seducing, call. <laughs> call. seducing call. the dark wizard Columbus. All right, Stop. let's see what happens. W inbound. 
Unfortunately for them, the dark wizard doesn't Grog seem interested Grog. in dancing ah. and decides to make Graden Grog his new familiar instead. Oh. Graden Grog is happy about this and wonders why the others haven't gotten married oh. yet. Grog and Grog just got turned into a familiar? W. Oh w. my. <laughs> I mean, it's, he's happy about it. Dude, this Ow. is a perfect enough for Grug and Grug. Look at him. Dude, look at him. This is what he was made to do. He is a familiar this entire Where time. Leave. Leave? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. This is actually the... This is beautiful, Wait, dude. This Is this the canon Wait. ending? Does Grug and Grug decide yeah. to stay with the wizard and Rat who leaves to go be with their wife? This is so... Is this where the party splits? This is so beautiful, no. dude. Go home? Yes. Yes. How did this okay. somehow manage to wrap itself up so nicely? Grug and Grog decides this wife. to stay with the dark wizard Plumbus as his rat. freaky familiar Bar rat, rat. shrugs and Bye. heads back <laughs> to, to town <laughs> to be with her Bar new rat. wife. This is- I'm gonna cry, dude. Bye. This is beautiful. Rat friend. Your journey ends here. You have reached your destination. The adventure begins. You have just awakened from a dream where okay, you were chased on. by a big red right, 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 right. <laughs> And, uh, well, that about- uh does it uh you know because however i do one more scene because you didn't stop the dark wizard plumbus uh scene 21 uh triggers uh, which is the bad end um the uh -oh. dark wizard resurrects <laughs> the dragons and they burn the town uh scorching everything to a cinder uh but uh clap, clap. <laughs> don't care <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay. I couldn't. Dude, I'm like so happy at how Don't that care. wrapped up. It's somehow they managed it, to like have just a perfect send off. Everybody's story arc was resolved. Clap. Yeah, it it everyone got what they wanted in the end. You know. Woof. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. Um, I th this was this was my story that i like i told um and now the next one we're gonna do and um, if you think we still got time charberg is charberg's story and he's prepared a whole different one to make new characters and everything Rogue yeah Rogue. i've got i've got an entire thing made as well and you guys will be making dude i by the way yeah big yes. big Pog. big uh thank you for being hilarious dude both people i was cracking up so often I love when yeah. chat is able to actually coherently like behave, you know what I mean? Yeah, once you guys I think like figured out the dynamic and like we're able to work together uh to like make fun situations happen, I think it uh it really started shining. So <laughs> You're saying you cuz I showed the other face of Grog. Yeah. They got a, they got accustomed to the, the Grog one. Wait, wait, which which face was up the whole time for you? I had Grog up the whole time with the fucking foamy mouth. Oh, oh I, I I reverted whenever we left the uh the place, I reverted from the bloat. Oh, you reverted from the bloat? Yeah, oh, no. I've been normal Grog and Grog the whole time. I'm so sorry Grog and Grog. You've been bloated Grog and Grog for me the whole time. <laughs> oh no. Well, you know, you get Dude, Bushboy, thank you so, for the gifted uh, subs. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. D um, yeah, I'll I'll explain the uh, I'll explain the story of the uh, next one of mine. Grog. Only Grog. Uh, okay. Show Germa. How do we want to transition? Show Germa. Okay. We can just right, go right say... back to the start, like uh. So, bye to Germa too. Hey, me. Yeah. Little baby red Germa. Dude, I I am such a fan of both of these characters so much. I, I'm gonna I, miss them. I really love people. Yeah, I, I know it's it's sad, right? We're saying goodbye to these characters. I dream. Here, let's have them. You guys can take a bow. We'll take out the full character sheet for both again, so everyone can. Yeah, let me do that too. You gotta bring OG Grug and Grog back, though. Oh, Ew! Yeah. Look at that weird baby man. One second, let me find. Oh. <clears throat> Ew. Here's... All right. Uh, 
Where's the original Greb and Grog? Yeah, it's so hard. Once you get past a certain amount of things inside the OBS scene, it's just like looking at a wall of like, what am I looking at? Mommy mode. Oh, there it is. Sorry, Grog and Grog. You're bloated, Grog and Grog, the whole time. Uh, but now. Handsome. This was originally Grog and Grog. <laughs> Handsome. Yeah, that's what I had up. I didn't. My bad. I didn't realize that we were sticking with that one. E W. All right. Uh, I guess you want me e to explain what the setting is of uh, my story, and we can. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to take like any breaks to get some water and stuff? Yeah. Sure. Um, we'll take a quick break. I gotta grog. use the bathroom. A grog and grog, dude. I, I I just fucking love grog and grog's catchphrase being their name. It's so. It's like a stupid Pokemon. Oh my god! It's so funny. Yeah, let's take Show a wife. quick break really I'm, quick. I'm gonna go generate the goblin wife real quick. Okay. Grog and grog. Chat, I will be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'm going to uh say hi to Plum. Thank you guys for being so goofy. Hey. This was this was funny. Um also <clears throat> Bush Boy, thank you so much for the Please. ten gifted subs. I I'm sorry, I know I missed a lot of subs and bits and everything. Yeah, voice voice will be changed, don't worry. Be sure to uh, get a drink if you guys want to. For the next one, sure. We'll do that when we're customizing the character. Actually, I should probably do Ooh, this. Oh, can't show that. Can't show that one. Hi, Plum. Uh, Hi, Plum. All right, I'll be right back, chat room. Mm. I'll leave you here for a sec. No, I would literally be banned. <laughs> I'm not, can't show that one. Uh, the The... the AI programs we're using. Uh, we're using the novel AI. If you do exclamation AI, it'll link to it. But we are using both their narrative generator and their new um, audio. God, how many fucking boobs are there? Okay, all right, wait. This one, this one's good. Now, uh, I have some unfortunate news. Uh, it turns out it wasn't just one. Meow. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't just one uh, goblin. It uh, was actually two. Your your wife was two goblins stacked on top of each other. Um, one was uh, crouched under, and uh, they, you know, I guess. Meow. Yeah. Meow. Yeah. Hot. Yeah, not bad. Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, you, you really would have thought they would have liked Greg and Grog for being, you know, a two for one deal as well. But I'm back to me about uh, his personality, sure. I guess, was just uh, too much. Oh, wait, what are you talking about? Uh, I generated an image of the of the goblin uh, wife. Oh, was she beautiful? Uh, yeah, after a couple iterations where the tits were out, we found one that uh, I, I removed them, and there you go. Yeah, the, the goblin wife was actually two goblins stacked on top of each other. Just like Grog and Grog, that's so sweet. Yeah, which is so funny that they rejected him. You know what, I oh. think what might have been uh, the issue with the generation is that we used portrait that was like vertically long. Yeah, yeah, So I think long. next time let's use square for when we're generating. Okay. deal. Alright, you want to hear the, uh, what, are you going to take a break for a second, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I should be okay. All right, everyone say goodbye to Grog and Grog and Ratku. They're going off now, and you got to make new characters, okay? So the theme of this one is completely different. Kraken had like a fantasy thing, and mine is sci-fi. So yes, uh, we're going with sci-fi. All right, let me turn on your. Well, yeah, I should probably go into my. Uh... I gotta find the uh, background. Aha! Boom! Bum bum bum! All right, the story of mine I actually borrowed from uh, when, when I brainstormed on stream the other day. Somebody suggested having it about an AI, and so the story is: I wrote 
The artificial intelligence that runs a space station has gone rogue and decided to stop taking commands from humans. Subsequently, all robotic systems on the space station have started behaving unpredictably. All robots on board the space station have been affected in different ways. Some robots just don't function how they're supposed to, whereas other robots have started ignoring their program entirely, or they're ignoring their programming entirely and acting on their own free will. In the months that the space station has been run by the rogue AI, it has been mostly evacuated. However, there are still survivors living on board who refuse to leave. Two of those survivors are called whatever you guys decide. And they have decided to travel to the heart of the space station and put a stop to the AI. So the I'm, I'm feeling the vibe for this one can be any race, humanoid, whatever. I already see your chat trying to go with the name. Yeah, they're going. The, I, this theme seems kind of similar, guys. Zug, Zug and Zog. That seems a little close to uh to Grug and Grob. Grug and Grog. But all I right, like, you want to go? We can do a different voice this time, guys. Yeah, I'm so, changing the voice of mine. I'm gonna yeah. pick something that's appropriate to. Uh, yeah. So so try going for something. Uh, you know, can be a totally different energy. Yeah, that's what and... I was going to say, by the way. Just keep in mind, as somebody participating in this, that it's, you know, you want to mix it up. Don't just eat. Don't, you know, let's scrap everything from before and make entirely new characters with an entirely new joke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep, keep it right. fresh. I'll, uh, I'll talk with my chat, and we'll come up with something, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right. Cool. I'll be back right, in a bit. See you in a minute. All right, guys. What are you thinking? <clears throat> it's a space station. You could be a, a little alien. You could be a, a lizard. <laughs> cowboy cat girl. Do you want a cowboy cat girl? I could see that being cute. Let me try to generate something really quick. Even worse. I I'm looking at even worse ones. Dr. Roach! <laughs> Dude, this is so scary. <laughs> oh my god, no, you guys don't want this? A terrified. I want to do a terrified voice. I think that'd be fitting him so- No! No! Dr. Roach is shy. All right, hello, say hello again. Hello. <laughs> this one's called unfriendly. Not a fan of this one? Okay. All right, we're back to shouting. Spell out Dr. Roach. Dr. Roach. <laughs> Dr. Roach. <laughs> Dr. Roach. <laughs> we need like a catchphrase for this one. Dr. Roach. I kind of like this. I'm all right with this. All right, let's uh, I'll tell Kraken I'm ready. Hey, I think we're good. Okay, sweet. Um, so <laughs> the character generated for mine ended up being green. Uh, so uh, oh, is it chroma keying out? But they also kind of like it. They they, <laughs> they want it to be like transparent, like a uh, like a hologram or something. Kinda. More like a uh, uh, slime, like a slime girl. Oh, cool. Uh, is that is that okay? I know you have like a thing. Um, so I guess we should begin. Um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll send you the picture. Uh, I'll send you the picture as well. So what's your character's name? Uh, they're deciding that now. It looks like... Is it Gluba or Slimantha, guys? Oh my god, what? All right, Slimantha has, I think Slimantha wins. 
Okay, well, anyway, let me get you mine. <laughs> Alright, our character is called, uh... <laughs> Dr. Roach. Oh. <laughs> How does this keep happening? What? My chat, like, makes a cute thing and they're like, ah! And then yours fucking comes out of nowhere with this shit. Well, you don't like Dr. Roach? No, no, I didn't mean it like that. It, Dr. Roach is great. What about Slimella or whatever you said her name was? Hi, Are you being Roach. mean to the slime? No. Uh, here, I'll, I'll put you guys in the same. Listen, you you are. I question your motives <laughs> because I they wanted to do a cowboy cat girl and I was like, no guys, you're gonna be too horny. And then you make this like, you make well, like a. We try. I went through iterations, right, that had actual boobs, and then we were like, you know what? I like this little like a uh, little squishy like test tube looking yeah. slime girl. I I think it's a very very acceptable look, you know. No, I'm a fan. I like it. I'm going to change the voice. I do actually like the first voice we did better. As long as chat, you got to you got to you got to behave. That's okay? what I'm telling him, dude. You guys got to behave or you're going to lose it. My TTS is screwing up a lot. I don't know what's up. I'm trying to figure out a, a way to like... I think it's just been overpowered. Oh, I like too many things. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Doctor Roach's voice like shouts. Oh, he does. Okay, he goes. Doctor Roach. <laughs> Let me restart. Okay. Gergi, thank you for the bits, dude. Um, I'm actually not sure if I'm allowed to say yet. I don't know if it's released. I'll ask Kraken. Hey, are we allowed to say what AI we're using? What AI art? Uh, yeah. I didn't know if it was released or something. I feel like for some it, reason I thought... Bazinga! <laughs> <laughs> it's um, the novel AI. Yeah, the novel AI art... Uh, Bazinga! Generator, I think it came out like yesterday, actually. Um, although they theirs is more centered around... The public release is more centered around anime uh, <laughs> generation, which you guys would probably... <laughs> Honestly, is what yeah, you and I'll, just a, a hint. Uh, actually, I don't know if I should even talk about the beta things that I've seen. I've seen some things in beta. Mhm. Mm when you click at the tab at the top, you know, Kraken. And oh yeah, we it's know. Got the... <laughs> Let's just say that they're working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes that uh, I think uh, you degenerates would uh, be looking forward to when it's ready. So. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Um, All right, I'm going to go ahead and get these in the profile. Ah. Yeah, I just put mine in. So mine is Slimantha or Slimantha. Ah. Uh, Slimantha? Dr. Roach. Yeah. Now, chat, are you sure you're okay with her, ah. with Slimantha being transparent? We, we can try to make Slimantha a different, uh, a different color. How do you spell Slimantha? Yes. yes. Uh, S L I. Yes. M A N T H A. Oh my God! I think I had a stroke. What did you yes. say? S L I. S L I M Slam Slim Antha. Okay, I uh, dude, I for some reason that just did not register at all for me the first time. Okay, Slimantha. Okay, we are Doctor Roach. Slimantha. There you go. Bazinga. All right, let me get these profile pics all lined up. <laughs> and Joe. And Joe. God, Dr. Roach, what a handsome little doctor. <laughs> what a handsome little doctor. And Joe. Should I, should I reposition him so that and some of Joe. his doctor outfits in there? Because right now it's all Roach and no doctor. I have mine. Uh... Actually, this is good. This is good. I got it. People need to know he's a doctor. 
I think that's important. All right, let me get Slimantha in there. Handsome! <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's up with my AI voice. It just doesn't work anymore. Wait, oh, really? you're right. This Slimantha is completely... Yeah, but it's kind of cool, right? Yeah. Kind of cool. <laughs> if you don't like Joe it, I, I can try to generate another one. <laughs> no, it's whatever. Ah! Wait, it looks different on his stream? Oh, oh no. Yeah, okay, Rose. they're calling her Kamantha. Dude, Dr. Roach, no. chill. <laughs> you, okay, you no, might, you might just not be no. seeing what I'm seeing, Kraken, because on my end, <laughs> she really does look like Kamantha. <laughs> Be no. nice to Slamantha, Dr. Roach. Dr. Roach, don't call her Clamantha. Come, Come on. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait, yours is still the <laughs> whispering you. voice. Let me refresh. Oh, try reloading it. it yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You know what I'll do here? Here's what I'll do. I've got a, I've got a solution to this. This is going to be easy. I put, no, I'm, horny. Put one of these right here. Put one of... Whoa. JK. Bug spray. Yo, they're busting out the bug spray. What did I do? What did I just do? Bazinga. Bug spray. Samantha, what is the sound the bug spray makes? Can you make that sound? They can't decide. <laughs> it didn't work. PSSH. <laughs> Come on, one of these gotta work. All right, there. I'm fixing slime anta. Piss. <laughs> SSS. Push. Pish. Piss. All right, Slimantha is now green. No longer Comantha. But you made her green? Yeah. I put, How do I make her green? <laughs> I put an image of her behind her oh. to where it green screens and there's green underneath it. Wait, that's... Here, I'll just... I'll, you know what I'll do? Here, I got you. Watch. You're going to love this. This is going to be the easiest. Snot Mantha. Guys, chill. You, this can't what be Evil hell? Arc again. We got to have Buddy Snot Arc. Mantha. Green, smart. Oh my god. Now I'm, I'm on Samantha's side. Dr. Roach is being an asshole right now. I'm sorry about Dr. Roach. Dr. Fuck Roach you. does not know how to behave. Samantha, let's bust out the, the fucking bug spray again. Pish. Pish. Sorry. <laughs> Piss. Pish. All right, Kraken, here, you're going you're gonna to want to use this. Fish. I'm almost done. Apologies. Bazinga. All right, put this underneath the uh, picture of Slimantha. But not on the same layer. Don Madden. Uh, not on the same in the same group as uh. Oh, okay, okay. Fishtastic. No. They don't. Why do they not want her to be green? No, it's Samantha. You don't want to be green? What's wrong? Look. Come on. What's wrong with that? I screwed something up, dude. Fred I Karen. screwed something up. A -A -A. What? I, I may have covered them by accident. I, I'm working on it, guys. Look there. Oh, you look how pretty. You're green A -A -A. again. What are they saying? Ah, what? No. 
I don't know what to tell you, man. No. They really don't want to be green. <laughs> oh, I didn't even finish making my setting my border up. Dude, I have ruined my scene somehow. No. Wait. Oh, look. Blue. Samantha, I can change the color. Fix me. Watch this. Ready? <gasps> Blue. Ooh. You like that? Pink. Want to go pink? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oil Manda. Purple? Which one do you like? RGB. How about all of them? Woo! Dude, it is so hard to move these pictures RGB. between... Oh my god, I give up. Why is it so Blue, hard to move rainbow. these little pictures around in OBS? Are you having this problem? Um, Trying to yeah. line these pictures up is impossible. Oh, I, I don't worry about that. Just uh, expand it past the border, and then if it's behind it, you Blue. know, I just, like, stretch it so it's uh, got the important stuff in the frame. I almost have it. Chat, don't do shit. Like, what are you doing? Chat, don't honestly, you. don't ruin shit like this, please. You super saturate you. What is wrong with you, dude? I don't even want to fucking do this anymore. Game error. Don't Krongo. be weird. Yes. Please, for the love of God, dude. Based on mood? Oh, we make it dynamic? So, like, when you're angry, it goes like... Krongo. Yes, gay pride. Are we just keeping yes. moving? Yes. Dude, Krongo. I... Something is wrong with my scenes. I am ruining this. I'm actively ruining this. Yes. Uh, okay, do you want it to... Is it something with a group? I don't exactly know. I, I, like, I have... I somehow was able to fix it, and then I screwed it up. I just... I'm just screwing it up. It's all good. We're having fun. Now Dr. Roach and Samantha can get to know each other better. Yeah, guys. Say hi. Let's uh, say hi and stop insulting each other. <laughs> All right. How about okay? Let's let's talk about your backstories a bit, guys. While while Charbrook's fixing this. So, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I fixed it. Both, you guys were both assigned to this station. Uh, are you both doctors? Is Slamantha a doctor as well? Is Slamantha, you know, like uh, some no. other, an engineer maybe? C cowgirl. <laughs> Slimantha is a cowgirl. Okay, Slimantha is a cowgirl. Um, Howdy. Okay, so Slimantha, what what's a cow, cowgirl? What's a cowgirl like you doing in space? Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Wait, you're the captain? <laughs> Dude, something is up with my uh, widget too. It's, are you hearing Doctor Roach speak? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I can't hear Dr. Roach anymore. Uh, maybe resave on Fishnet and... Yeah, let me try that. Yeah. Slime Rancher. Okay, so... All right, Dr. You're... Roach, say hi. Not you, Samantha. Don't say hi. Hi! <laughs> Hank! Okay. Hi! It seems to be working now. All right. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, guys. Well, the whole theme is you're going on a spaceship oh, to you. try to stop an artificial intelligence that has taken a little bit of control over things. Wait, I still have yours up. So all the, all the robotic systems on board have gone completely haywire, which is bad. And it is oh, up no. to Dr. Roach and Slimantha to save the day. <gasps> Let me get uh Bazinga. You're okay, Dr. Roach, your catchphrase can't be Bazinga. Gay 
PhD in. All right, let me. Do you do you have my uh, stream up with the story? No, it, it ended at some point. Ew. All right, let me fix that. Oh, Zinga. I'm Doctor Roach. I'm Doctor Roach. <laughs> Said it twice. One with a pastry, one without. Yeah, PhD in. Yeah, Doctor Roach. What is your PhD in? Fake doctor. <laughs> PhD in. PhD in. Space. <laughs> I I'm can't hear Dr. Roach, dude. This is so upsetting. I'm sorry. What's going on with my thing? Wait, maybe uh, if you... Fake doctor. I could stream to you my OBS scene, maybe, and then you can hear it from there if you want. Yeah, uh, I guess let's do that. Yeah, let's try that. Dr. Roach is... He's got a beautiful voice. I just can't... I can't hear it. Wait, no, because then I'll hear... I'll hear... Um. Oh, wait. Will I hear myself? No, I don't think I will. Yeah, let's try this. D. Fuck you. D. D. All right, Dr. Roach, say hi now. Let's test this. Fake cowgirl. Okay, Fish. I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, is that right for you? Yeah. Hi. Oh my hi. god, his, his, his voice is piercing. Fish. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? Fish. Dr. Roach, chill, dude. Pish. Yeah, spray him. Pish. Hi. All right. Oh, All right. Fish. You ready to try to begin? I'm ready to try Howdy. to begin. All right. What in tarnation? Let me sure this still works. Yeah. So let me send this. Wait, you, do you have it in, uh, oh, you have it in, um, 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 um text adventure. Okay, cool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's hey, give Kona. it a shot. This should be the story. I pushed enter. Wait, oh, no, Zinga. I think I have to put it into the story section. Oh, no, it, it should be by default, I think. If it has a little book next to it, then it's a story. You need Yeehaw. to get back to your quarters before you can begin this quest. Oh, Zinga. Oh my you god, Dr. Roach is so loud. You enter the main corridor of the space <laughs> is the, station. Is so oh wait, I need to unmute your you thing. Here. Sorry. Let me try to make you, you a little Bug quiet. Zinga. God, Dr. Roach. Everyone's loud. I'm Fantastic. trying to fix this. Bugtastic. <laughs> big iron. Samantha's got a big iron on her. Slime head. time. It's slime time. Is there a way? Okay, wait. I see this. I'm trying to. I'm trying to adjust all my volume levels. This dude. This has gone so Fantastic. haywire on my end. There's a lot. There's a lot of moving pieces here, guys. If it wasn't already slime obvious. Time. <laughs> but bug iron. I'm oh, bug having, iron. <laughs> bug iron. <laughs> I think they're having fun. Fifty calories. <laughs> fifty calories. All right. Wait. Is Slamantha only fifty calories? Wow. Let's not. Let's not. Go oh too further with this. <laughs> We're not gonna be going down a path where we eat Slimantha. Whoa, I never implied that. I'm just, it was, I was remarking on how, you know, <laughs> how it's slim. Calories. <laughs> All right, it says you Four. need to get back to your quarters before you can begin this quest. You have already left your quarters when you entered Eight. the main corridor. So you have to go back through that no door more. that brought you here. I don't know why it's wanting to go to our quarters. Okay, but anyway. I'll just, I'll post what the first thing is. I have these typed Bug up. Off. You can also do retry to, uh... I think it'll be fine, because it, it, we'll just, we'll just progress forward and see. Kraken, go yes. to scene number one. <gasps> Don't eat. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, let me, let me, let me change Dad. the names in my little thing that I, my little write-up, because I haven't done that yet. Bum, bum, bum. Um, hey, look at that. Do you want to read the, uh, the intro? Yeah, I'm just replacing the name so I can copy and paste it. Because I had gotcha. it as player one and player two. All right. Friend. Friend, it just might be. As Dr. Roach and Friend. Slimantha walk down the first hallway of the space station, they see a small robot standing in the middle of a completely destroyed lounge room. 
Every single piece of furniture has been smashed and reduced to piles of rubber. The ceiling Howie. has holes in it and the walls have all been smashed through. The little robot is whistling a song and starts Howie. to work to break apart another table. He doesn't seem to notice Dr. Roach and Slymantha enter the room. Roach! <laughs> Roach! Roach! What's going on here? Asks <gasps> Dr. Roach. Samantha takes a closer look at the robot. I've never seen anything like him before. He looks like one of my old toys, says Dr. Roach. What is that? Well, I Dr. don't. Roach. <laughs> Dr. Roach, do you care to elaborate what the hell that means? One of your toys? Maybe Dr. Wait, Dr. Roach was a space Boy. a space doctor, he said. Yeah. Monka S. <laughs> All right, what do you guys want to do? He's a little robot here. He's been dismantling this place. Son. His his son. AI, his son. You could try to adopt him. We could <laughs> we could adopt him if you'd like. Quick draw. S Samantha, don't shoot Samantha the robot. Samantha wants to kill him. Adopt. Samantha, adopt. Ju just because you're a space cowgirl doesn't mean you gotta examine. you gotta you know quick draw everything. Oh, examine. Okay, playing this like an actual game. I yeah, like it, Samantha. Let's, let's... Maybe let's examine a little bit closer. How about that? High noon. I knew. Examine. My boy. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> Dr. Roach and Sly Mantha My boy. decide to examine the little robot and gather more information. L U L. Dr. Roach crouches down My next bug. to the little robot. Hey there. Are you okay? That what happened? What happened? That out the little robot. How are you today? Samantha kneels down next to the little robot. <laughs> okay, what do we do? Samantha seems to want to kill the thing for some strange reason. Hug. Aw, hug. That's hug cute. my boy. <laughs> hug <laughs> my boy. <laughs> I type Dr. Yes. Robot. Dr. Robot hugs the little robot and says, My Pet. boy. The little robot claps his hands together and smiles happily. Thanks for coming to pick me up. I'm glad you're here. Are we ready to do some exploring? Okay. The robot turns around and walks to an opening in the wall. Oh, right off the oh, bat, we've got a, a party member. We got a party I member. I love my son. I love my son. <laughs> this is going to be so tragic if something how happens is, to this. How is this so wholesome compared to mine? What the hell? Did you guys get out of your system with me and now you're playing nice? Follow. I just I made a cute little son. robot. God damn it, you're right. I should have made a cute little robot at the start. <laughs> you just made edible looking people in your. Yeah, that was my bad. <laughs> All right, you guys. You guys can loot around oh, in this room. See if there's anything. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> anything else you want to do in this room before we move on? I was expecting you guys to like, I don't know, beat this robot up or something. But you've adopted him, so so name him. Oh yeah, what do you want to name, name him? Name son. All right, I'm all ears. What do you guys think? Yeah, name come, son. come up with a good name. Name son. Irma. No. No, not again. Craig. Okay. Craig. Craig. Little Jeremiah Craig. Cool. Okay, let me put that in the story. My chat has two fucking notes. <laughs> Craig. Dr. Oh, Roach. A third, no a third note. Craig. Okay. Craig. Craig. All right. It's a, a consensus has been reached. Craig it is. Dr. Roach decides to adopt a little robot and name him Craig. Craig! You need to get back to your quarters before you can begin this quest. Oh. You have already left your quarters My when you boy Craig. the main corridor of the space station. Oh. So you'll have oh. to go back Craig through Ken. the door that brought you here. Um, sorry. So sorry, I sorry, guess sorry. we should retry? Uh, yeah. Or we just bring Craig with us back to the, you know. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Something's happening. Craig leads Dr. Roach and Slamantha through several corridors filled with debris until he reaches a large, open chamber. Redo! Several small robots stand I love up in Craig. front of a tall metal door, which is covered in thick layers of dust and rust. Okay. I, okay. uh... uh that'll work. 
What do you guys want to do? More correct. <laughs> You guys want to adopt these guys too? I mean, we could. They could. Uh, they could be hostile. I mean, we have to be a little. Boy. More Craigs. All right. Let's see here. How many we got? Several small robots lined in front of a tall metal door. Family. Okay, let's first. Maybe we should inquire and see Robot if Army. what these robots are doing here and why Craig led us here. Family. I mean, yeah, they... I wonder what. Well, yeah, what is Craig's uh, function here? If Craig led the way. Yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure. Let's see, um Does anyone who wants to volunteer to try to communicate with Craig and see if we can get an answer out of him? Oh Hana. Ask Craig. <laughs> oh Hana means family. Oh Hana means family. <laughs> okay. Dr. Roach ask Craig. Ask Craig. Um why he led them Obama to these robots. <laughs> now they're just rhyming. <laughs> Let's see what Craig has to say. Obama means family. They need help. <laughs> Sings out the little robot. <gasps> Come on, Obama then, means family. Says Dr. Roach. Osama. Let's see what they're doing. <laughs> Come on, what? Guys. Dr. Roach and Slimantha, what are you talking about? He tries to speak to each one individually. Craig needs help. Stay on He's task. He's trying to talk to the robots. He's trying to talk to the robots. Yo, mama. How All did right. that pop up three times? <laughs> three different Wait. spellings of yo, mama. Did they just fucking get <laughs> Dr. Roach? Was that a got him? I don't know. Guys, guys, we can't Craig enter enemy help. arc. Help. Help Craig. Help my boy. Dr. Roach Dr. and Slimantha decide to help little Craig and his friends. Oh, thank goodness. Do we know they're his friends yet? Help my boy. I don't know. Help Craig. Craig. Walks over to the line of robots. Should I go forward with this one or do it differently? Yeah, no, I... If, if they're Use their friends. PhD. Good, Dr. Roach. Roach. Maybe it will come in handy. We'll see. Let's see what these I robots have to say. A Use PhD. Chamber. Absorb. The robots are trying to repair themselves using broken pieces of machinery. They have stripped off parts of their bodies and Use are carefully PhD. replacing them with new components. The robots' limbs have been replaced several times, but they still won't move properly. Oh. Wait, what happened? Use gun. That's sad. It's just a bunch of broken robots trying to fix themselves. Repair? Dr. Ro Dr. Roach. My poor boys. You're Dr. Roach. Sad. Do you think you're capable of repairing a robot? You're a space Use doctor, gun. for crying out loud. You slime. <laughs> I think Slimantha might be on yes. something. Yeah? Are you going to try to fix them with your slime? You slime. PhD. <laughs> I don't think your PhD is very helpful here, Dr. Roach. I think, okay, let's give Yay it a shot. PhD. <laughs> you really want to use the PhD. Okay, wait, okay, wait, wait. Dr. Robot suggests that the group use his doctorate. Slime time. His PhD. What is, how do you spell PhD? Is it PhD? Is it P dot? Is there a dot? Yeah, it's just PhD. PhD in robotics. Okay, Dr. Robot suggests that the group use DR his PhD robot. to try and help DR the robots. Robot? Slamantha wants to use her slime. Dr. Roach. He's just saying his own name like <laughs> the last character. The two are unsure yeah, how wait, to proceed. Dr. Roach, you said Dr. Robot. No! Oh, no! He was trying to correct you. I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm sorry. One sec. Says Dr. Robot. I can make their limbs get, function. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Says Sorry, Dr. You Roach. You just do undo. Your slime wouldn't be able to handle the strength of these robotic arms. Oh my says god. Dr. One G. Robot. One While G. Dr. Roach and Samantha discuss their options, Craig begins working on another robot. Dr. Roach and Samantha Rozo. see that the robot's eyes are still <laughs> shut. Can you fix them? By the way, him? I sent you uh, an updated image. Oh my god, Craig and- oh, this is cool. 
Here, I'll drag this in. Although I think I'm uh, now seeing that. Oh yeah, you are. Screen share. I didn't know it was going to open up in that browser. It's okay. My boys! My OBS has become a mess, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I was doing it so Slime well, time. I was keeping up with stuff. Fly my. I just ruined everything. How did I mess it up so bad, Kraken, if you could see my OBS? Alright, here we go. Fix oh, it's good. Boy. It's good. They're, they're good, guys. They're good. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's go fix them now. Alright, can you Lubricate. fix them? Can you fix them with your PhD? Dr. Roach, this might be a little bit out of your field. Yes! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Yes! Slime lube! <laughs> slime slime. lube, okay. Dr. Roach attempts to fix the broken robots. Using Slimantha's slime lubricant. Using Slimantha's slime for a lubricant. Good Thanks, teamwork, doctor. guys. Yeah, guys, you okay, guys are- Okay, Slimantha. Ah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> ah. It's not enough to fully restore the robots to full functionality. Samantha suggests that she could use her slime as a glue instead, which would make the repairs much stronger. Oh, just change ah. ch change the function of your of your slime, guys. <laughs> All right, slime I, blue. Let's give let's give the slime glue a shot. Slime blue. Okay, they seem on the same page. Slime blue. Samantha, how much uh, slime do you have to spare, by the way? Because this is your main, Easy. you know, corporeal self. Just a reminder. The two decide to move forward with the oh slime my. glue approach. Oh. oh! Now that the robots are fixed, they need to move again. One of them walks over to the massive metal door. As soon as it touches the surface, the door <gasps> opens. You guys oh. figured out the broken robot puzzle! Woo! This is a huge day. 49 calories. We can attempt to adopt them My too. Boy. Let's just let's roll Slap. it again and see if it tells us anything about this door. Yeehaw! See? Says Craig. That wasn't oh. too hard, was it? Dr. Oh. Roach and Samantha follow Craig into a new area of the space station. What a perfect transition a into the later, next doctor. the next area. The next area. Let me get now my right up. What's that gonna be? Easy. The next area is. <laughs> Dude, this the way this transitioned. A few minutes later, Doctor. Easy peasy. Wait, is that where I put it? Uh, yeah. Either we change the scene now, or you do that that first. Okay. A few minutes later, Doctor Roach and Slimantha make their way further into the space station. They begin to hear robotic voices and the sound of something banging around in the kitchen. As they approach the kitchen. They see that it's a complete mess with food splattered all along Boxing the walls and floor. Good, Dr. Roach. There's pots and pans and bowls laying everywhere on every countertop, Muted. all filled to the brim with various types of soup. At the center of the kitchen, you see... Kraken. Scene number you two. You see... <gasps> 1984! Bum, bum, bum. You see two little robots. Wait, where did my thing go? One sec. Hey, two hey, little hey, robot hey. chefs working hat. Why are you screaming? They're so cute. Bunker. My boys. <laughs> my boys. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roach build all these robots. <laughs> two little robot chefs working happily. Wait, I, I, think, I think we're getting an action from Slamantha. Is this a quick draw? All right, let's let's progress the scene here and see what happens. And then Slimantha can try to shoot shoot, boy. <laughs> shoot the robots, I guess. The robot on the right looks Good up job. at Dr. Roach and Slimantha and waves. Hello there. We can't stop cooking soup, says the robot in a cheerful voice. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> My boys. That. Where did all the, oh wait. Where did all of this come from? Asks Dr. Roach. From everywhere and anywhere. Sings out the little robot chef. We've been making My lots boys. of different kinds of soup. Shoot soup. 
All right. Well, I think it's time for Slimantha to make a make a make a move. What do you want to do, Slimantha? I saw absorb soup and shoot soup. Absorb soup. Do you want do you want to <laughs> stick your little slime tendril shoot into the soup. into the soup and and <laughs> soak it up? Become soup mantha. If you if you do this, I will have to change your absorb profile. Soup. And you will become soup mantha. How many calories in a soup, soup I Manta. wonder? 51 All right, calories. I'll write this down. Soup Mantha. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Without even hesitating, Slime Mantha starts... Yes. What, what was it? Sucking down the soup? How did you phrase Ab this? Absorbing. Absorbing basically. the soup with her slime tendrils? I don't know. I don't... 5,000 calories. Absorb. <laughs> uh, says Craig. We don't know if that's such a good idea. <laughs> Dr. Roach ignores the warning and continues eating soup. Suck! Be careful, warns Craig. <laughs> that's a little worrying. Guys, what do you do? You keep eating soup or do you uh, listen to Craig's warnings? You become soup mantha? My soup! Suck! Okay. All right, Slimantha keeps eating the soup. Doctor Doctor Roach. Listen. Okay, Doctor Roach. <laughs> Doctor Roach is a little. Listen. He's a little peeved off. <laughs> Doctor Roach immediately stops eating soup. However, spit. Oh yes, yeah, stops eating the soup and Feed spits Roach. it out. Slimantha keeps eating though. Feed Roach. It's good, says Samantha. No. This is delicious. <laughs> yeah, He's trying to stop her, dude. Once a week or so, we make a bunch of different kinds of soup and just eat it all. Wow, that's a weird robot custom. I was I was envisioning this scene being completely different. And they just eat all the soup. Trust my boy. <laughs> Yum. Doctor Roach, what? you say trust my boy, but he seemed trust to not want you to eat the soup. You guys gonna keep eating the soup? What are you doing? Okay, I yum. I I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying That's to generate boy. a new <laughs> soup mantha. No soup. It's vaguely working. Uh, give me another minute. I'll, I'll... No soup. All right, Doctor Roach does force not. Roach. Slime mantha, behave. There will be no force feeding Doctor Roach if he doesn't want to eat the soup. Maybe it's robot soup. Maybe robots eat it and it's not for humans. Hmm. No! <laughs> Force feed! <laughs> no! Sorry! Alright, Dr. Roach... Oil soup! ...stops eating the robot soup. Because he worries... Not human! It's not good for change him. Change color! Falmantha... Okay, yeah, change color. That's actually a better way of doing it. We're gonna change color to the color of that soup, which is orange! Slimantha keeps eating the soup and even starts to change colors from eating so much soup. <gasps> Hug my boy! <laughs> How does um, soup make you change color? Asks Dr. Rose. Soup Manta! All sorts of things make us change color, replies Craig. It's fun being a little robot. <laughs> okay, that's kind of okay. cute. Dude, Craig is, <laughs> Craig is so like, he's so smart, dude. This is weird. I was not expecting him to. Alright. And he's like, he's behaving in like a believable way. I like ah. Craig. Slamantha is now Soup smart Mantha. Boy. I've updated my, uh, my side of things. Where uh, did you she's also this? orange now. Boy. It, uh, no new image, I just changed the, uh, the hue shift of the background. Oh, I see. Let me do that. It's now orange, the color of the soup. Now, I think that means soup mantha. What is oh, the flavor of the soup? Yeah, maybe we Do should we ask that? that. One second, let me hue shift this bad boy. Absorb Craig. Absorb Craig? Little robot friend? What, what is the limit of your power, soup mantha? E. No! 
Absorb crate. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> okay. Tomato gaming. <laughs> Without even hesitating. Without even hesitating, Flamantha no. starts trying to absorb Craig. Tomato <gasps> gaming. Protect. What is Dr. Roach going to do? With her slime tendrils, Craig managed with to escape with the Oh, I keep forgetting she's going to read it. manages to escape the slamming and hops away from Slamantha. Protect. Crap, she grabbed me. What the? The, oh, two can the language! Deeper into the Dr. Roach, you gonna let your little Crap, robot Manta. talk like that? Kill! Crap! <laughs> <laughs> Crap, she crapped me! I gotta know what flavor uh, of soup soup Mantha is. Craig Mantha! Yeah, let's, let's retry. And I'll- or, let me see, how do I undo or go back? Undo is on the left. With her slime. Okay. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Tomato! PhD and kill! <laughs> Dr. Roach! Tomato gaming! What kind of soup is this? The you ask? The robot chef points to his chest. Ooh. This kind. <gasps> what? But what makes it taste so good? Asks huh? Dr. Roach. Everything tastes good when you're a little robot. Th that's his chef. answer to everything, dude! <laughs> everything tastes good when you're a little robot! <laughs> dude, he's just a little robot and he's happy. So, uh, is, right. is the soup is robot soup? I'm, you know, Kraken, I wish I could tell you. I still, he did not make it much clearer. Does I that mean that soup Mantha's now part robot? I guess it is robot soup. Man, okay. Wait, so robot soup. So we're trying to get out of the station, right? Trying to find a way out. Trying to get deeper into the station to stop the AI that's gone crazy. Okay, but this AI seems friendly so far. We haven't found any AI that's been not nice. Yeah, oh, my boy. <laughs> so far, the robots have just been kind Nano of peaceful. Machines. All right, let's go on to the next area then, dude. Yeah, I guess so. I, anything else you guys want to say or do with the the cooking, happy cooking soup robots? Nano machine sun. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny watching that. Alright, say bye. Say bye to the chef robots. Bye. Bye. Bye, boys. Bye. <laughs> Is, wait, hey, wait. Are we still bye. taking Craig? Yeah, of course. Craig's okay, coming Okay, okay, okay. Hug my boys. Yes. Let me get this next no, one entered in. Yes. No? Soup Mantha wants to ditch Craig here? Soup Mantha, chill! I mean, it might get more dangerous deeper in. We don't know. Maybe it's for the best we leave Craig here. Absorb Craig! Oh, oh no, she wants... She just wants to absorb Craig. It's not a... It's not for his best interest she wants to leave. Soup Mantha, I would not make an enemy with Dr. Roach and Craig. Absorb they are very Craig. powerful. They're a very powerful he's, he's team. He's got a PhD in something. Space or something. Yeah. All right, Dr. Roach, Craig, and Slamantha progress through the ruins of the space station and come across a PhD small convenience kill. store. There's garbage littering the Fuck ground, you. and most things have been PhD knocked off the shelves. Pish. <laughs> Inside, there's a robot clerk standing in the center of the room in a pile of garbage. Next to him is a trash can with a dead robot propped up inside of it. Here, uh, Craig, can go to scene three for a little bit of context. Oh, shit. Scene three? Mm, yeah, scene three. Guys... Bum, bum, bum. Sorry boy. guys, it's not all have fun and games down here. Sometimes shit gets real. Quick draw. <laughs> Slamantha, we don't know if they're evil yet. Let's just it's chill Samantha and see. Now, Charborg. Sorry, let me Quick change draw. my name. Let me change it in here. Soup Mantha. Quick draw. Let's Five. okay before we yes. before we start making decisions here that we might regret. Let's just press enter yeah, and see what happens. See what the AI says. This is a convenience yeah, store. Cool There's a garbage can with a robot in it and a clerk standing there. The robot clerk looks at you and says, "Bang bang." <laughs> Soup Mantha is so quick to shoot. Welcome to the grocery store. Can I help you find anything? 
No, thank you, says Dr. Rook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, says the robot clerk. What can I help you with? Be a damn samurai! <laughs> <laughs> okay, does Soup Manta have a gun even? I. Yeah, we hadn't really established that. So Soup Mantha said that, that her job on the station was cowgirl and that she was the captain. But is uh, Soup Mantha, are you security or like... Big iron. Okay, you, so you have a space gun. They just have a gun. Slime gun. You have a slime gun. Okay. Big iron. So you fire your, is you fire your own slime or do you have like a separate ammunition pouch? Bounty hunter. You're a bounty hunter. Okay. All right. You're a slime girl bounty hunter with the slime gun. Eat Soup Mantha. Slime Mantha, ch oh. Slime Mantha changes her name to Soup Mantha and shoots the robot 50 clerk. Calories. Huh? <laughs> no! Why'd you do that? Cries the robot clerk, shocked and confused. Because I said so, says Samantha. I don't want anything from here. <laughs> Fine, fine, says the robot. Again. Boy. Fine, fine. <laughs> again, again, Soup Mantha. <laughs> Soup Mantha, chill. You've already shot him. Let's just move on. Again. What, 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 what? what? <laughs> okay, so this, this used to be a, uh, what, like a convenience store for the station. Soup Mantha oh, shoots the robot clerk again. Double tap, causing him to fall down and slump onto the ground. No. She kicks the garbage can over the robot's head and he falls unconscious. <gasps> Dr. Roach decides to buy a loaf of bread at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> okay. L U L. Oh my god, dude. All right, Dr. Bread. <laughs> Yummy. Bread. <laughs> Looks delicious, Dr. Roach. Store bread. My bread. Oh, All right. Mantha. Let Dr. Roach have something, okay? Not everything has to be absorbed. We let you shoot the robot clerk, Soup Mantha. Can you chill? Come on. Take your turn. All right. No. <laughs> she's... Soup Mantha Absorb is like bread. evil. Yeah, she's just very, uh, she's very greedy. Dr. Are... Roach. What does Dr. Roach want? He wants to repair the robots, apparently. You, you guys want to, you want to give it a shot, Dr. Roach? Repair the ro robot she just shot? I do feel bad. I feel bad Sorry. that you're such a fan of robots, yeah. Dr. Roach, and then Sorry. she just keeps wanting to kill him. Feed my boy. <laughs> he wants to, he got yeah. the bread for the robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dr. Roach gives Craig a bite of the bread. JK. And tells him that it tastes good. Shoot again! But what about the other stuff in here? <laughs> Asks Craig. Shouldn't we be getting that? Dr. Getting Roach that? ignores the comment and means. continues eating his bread. The other stuff in here. Ask, ask Craig what other stuff there is. Okay. PhD in boy! What uh -oh. other stuff? <laughs> what are you talking about, Dr. Roach? Dr. Roach just says things sometimes. He's... Yeah. He's insane. What other stuff? Huh? <laughs> Uh, they, even they don't know they're what they're calling it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see. You, wait, we could. You guys want to re-roll this one about Bongo. the asking Craig or giving bread to Craig? No, I, I think this is fine. Okay, okay. just ask Craig. But what's what's you know what else is in the store? Like what's going on? Absorb PhD. <laughs> no, that's his only thing. That's all Come he's on, got Samantha. going for him. What other stuff do you want from no. the store? No! <laughs> no! Absorb PhD. I grabbed the boy. <laughs> I don't know, says Craig. Let me think about it for a while. Dr. Roach and Slamenda explore further into the space station. Oh. After walking for quite a distance, they come across a computer terminal. I lay the boy room. down. Okay, this, okay, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. I don't know why we're at you a- You want to retry? You don't want to- Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're blowing through the- I only have a, a short few scenes. So okay, I feel like I want to spend a little bit of time yeah, let's more- let's go back to the, this room, because, yeah, Samantha shot down the robot. We can go back to there. 
I like the loaf of bread, though. Okay, then we can keep the lo loaf of bread. He's eating his bread. <laughs> or you just retry and see what if he sees something close else. the curtains. Eat Samantha. All right, retrying. When Craig and Dr. Roach... When Craig oh, and I forget, Dr. I Roach forget. reach the end of the aisle, they find a refrigerator filled with various types of canned goods. The robot clerk stands behind Ish. the counter and offers to open a tin for anyone who wants to buy one. Okay, the robot clerk is back up, but I think Soup Mantha's probably calmed down a little bit, right? Soup Mantha not gonna shoot any more, uh... Yeah. Soup Mantha, you, you chill? We good? He's managed to make a full recovery, apparently. Canned bread! Yeah, let's see if they might have any canned bread, shoot. Dr. Ro Mm. Oh, soup. Shoot again. Oh, Soup Mantha. Soup Mantha's like that bully kid that keeps smashing your toys, you know? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe it was the soup that did it. Maybe we got to get the soup out of Soup Mantha. Get her back into Slime Mantha. Dr. Roach asks if there's any canned hey, bread for sale, but then Soup Mantha My shoots boy. the robot again. This time, the robot clerk doesn't wake up. Oh. <gasps> He's dead now, says Soup Evil Mantha. Soup. I should kill him again. What? Why? Asks <laughs> Craig. Because he's a robot, replies Soup Mantha. Oh what in God. the hell, dude? What? Something about this soup <laughs> robot, this robot soup really got in. Maybe we should focus on getting that soup out of Soup Mantha. It's racist. It's 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 <laughs> gotten bad. It's gotten to a bad point. Maybe ask them for it's like absorbent, you know, something absorbent from the store to get rid of the soup. Well, well ask who? The clerk's dead. She shot oh, him. You're dead. right. The clerk is dead. Right. Doctor Roach. Dude, Craig, we got to do something, man. Soup Mantha's gonna kill Craig next. Doctor Roach, come on, you a PhD? Think of Soup something Mantha quick. gets a wild look in her eye. Come on, Dr. Roach. It's down to you. We need you to stop and starts this. walking towards Craig. She draws hey, her gun. Red. Wait. Dr. Roach is trying to take the gun. Take the gun. She draws he's her gun. Use bread. But Dr. Roach tries to take it. And then he's trying to use the bread to absorb the soup, I think. Okay, okay, let's try this. <laughs> How do I word this? She draws uh, her gun and... But Dr. Roach tries to take it. All right, maybe we'll do the we'll, we'll we'll do the bread part in a second. Let's go with this one and see how this okay. plays out. Away from her. Hey, shout Supmanta. Absorb bread. I'm sick of your shit. <gasps> hey, shouts Craig. Stop acting crazy. Don't touch that gun. D. It, what do we do? This. I, I, I think the bread is the only option, man. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe the bread will absorb the soup, or maybe the, the she'll she'll absorb the bread and become bread mantha. Use bread, bread mantha. Doctor Roach throws the bread at soup mantha. Take the shot. Shoot bread, and knocks her out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, says Doctor Roach. She shouldn't have done that. I just wanted to see if you were as stupid as she made you sound, says Craig. Z -Z -Z. What? Well, Craig called you stupid, Z -Z -Z. Dr. Roach. He has a PhD. He has a PhD, Z -Z -Z. Craig. It's People not Craig easy to get D. one of those. D. All right, maybe, uh... Evil Craig. While Soup Mantha's passed out, she absorbs the bread and becomes Bread Give Mantha. Okay, okay. Craig. And this can, and then she can get a personality change and be nice again. Soup Manta? Uh-huh. <laughs> My boy! Red Manta. My boy! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roach, maybe, maybe put him in timeout for a little bit. Make yeah. him stand in the corner or something. That's so unfortunate that he's talking back to you like this. Um... Change color. While Soup Mantha is passed out, she absorbs the bread. This causes her to become Bread Mantha. Grounded. <laughs> and turn bright red. Bright red, Kraken! Oh, okay. Mantha some time to rest. 
Craig and Dr. Roach continued down the aisle of the grocery store. They reached the end of the aisle where they see a large window with a view of the space station. Wow. Bread, bread. <laughs> bread, bread. All right. All right. Now she's bread, Mantha. Yeah, I got to change that too. She's going through an entire. Yeah, there's a lot of. There's a whole character. A lot of upkeep here. Bread, bread, redemption. Bread, bread, redemption. I can't believe that many people said that, that they were able to get that read aloud. Uh. All right. Red bread redemption. I guess they they want to ground uh they want to ground Craig. Yeah, so. I mean he's been rude. No Xbox. Okay. <laughs> no Xbox. Okay. Doctor Roach decides to ground. Uh, decide decides to punish Craig for talking back. Dr. Roach. One last job. Dr. Roach takes away Craig's Kool -Aid. Xbox. <laughs> Kool <-Aid>. <laughs> D. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Oh my god, my chat's still on the Red Dead thing. Guys. <laughs> oh, Fucking yeah. wake up. Says Dr. Oh Roach. yeah. So, what do you think is going on here? Craig, thanks for oh, a moment. Oh, yeah. Tahiti. Chat, Dr. Roach is making fun of you and you're just still on Red Dead. Like, come on, you guys are the worst at fucking standing up for yourself. <laughs> ZZZ. Gotch. Dr. Roach. ZZZ. Yeah, okay, okay, they're back in character. They're still passed out. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Dr. Hey, Roach, one, do you one. accept the apology that Z -Z -Z. Craig has given you? He says, I didn't mean anything by it. Do you think it's okay? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. There, there we go. Yes. Forgive my boy. Thanks. Dr. Roach decides to forgive Craig for being mean. Dreaming of Red Dead. <laughs> okay. Hug my boy. Aww. Earlier and gives him back his Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Craig runs back over to the game console and starts playing his favorite video games again. <laughs> Dr. Roach and Craig Dreaming continue up to looking through the store. Awesome. All right, well, there we go. Craig's playing his favorite game. He's, everything's back to normal. Wait, what's, what's his favorite game, do you think? Is it Red Dead? Let's red, ask red. him. Let's ask him. <laughs> red, red. Fuck. Red, bread. Wake up. I like how you're just leaving Bread Mantha passed out this entire wake time. Red dead. Yeah, I guess I should wake her up, huh? What's no, your favorite game to play? I think it's okay. Where you shoot people, says Craig. Oh, oh, <gasps> I love shooting things. Me too, says Dr. Roach. Uh, shooting things makes me feel real bad inside. Monka S. <laughs> Red Manta? Maybe, maybe, uh... Uh, Dr. Roach? <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on. Let's, let's get out of this, uh... Let's, let's not go any farther. Ah! Uh, uh, me too! <laughs> Alright. Me too! Quick draw. Wake up. Um, okay, we gotta change her name. H how are we gonna get her name? Let me just see what Quick it says. Draw. Bread Manta finally wakes up. I guess. <laughs> From her now. Okay, no, there's now a character named Bread Manta and Soup Manta. No, we gotta undo it. <laughs> Uh, how about after okay. absor absorbing the bread, Soup Mantha becomes Bread Mantha. Wake me up inside. And then, and then wakes up to, uh, you know, whatever. She wakes up. Wake up. Mitosis. Save me. She oh wakes God, up after some singing. time. Save me. Save me! <laughs> Is it time to go home yet? Asks Bridmantha. Not quite, says Craig. We should probably get some more supplies before we leave. Bridmantha becomes excited. Bridmantha, get excited! <gasps> what supplies? Dr. Roach, you're a doctor. You know a lot of good things. What's something you should look for uh, to help you on your journey? Yay! Yay! 
Yeehaw. Bread. <laughs> okay, they want more bread. bread. All right. Canned bread. PhD. Yeehaw. So bread mantha, maybe this, maybe being bread mode is now you're just excited all the time, you know? Frogs. Dr. Roach steals as much bread as he can before they up. move on. Oh. Bread mantha becomes angry. Oh. Oh, oh. You stole my bread. Uh oh. She says. Oh. oh, God. I'm sorry, says Craig. Did I break your rules? Can we still <laughs> be friends? Mad. <laughs> says bread mantha. Oh, but they're still friends. It's okay. Right, this friends is fine. This works. Edge. It's fine. But it's okay. Sorry. Quick draw. You said whoa, sorry. Whoa, 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 chill. Bre whoa, hey, Bread Mantha. Whoa, Bread Mantha. Forgive. Okay, okay. They forgive. Dude, Smiley she's so... Face. Quick draw is not wrong. Forgive. She is so quick to yeah, pull that guy up. I mean, she is a space cowgirl. You know? All right. Dr. Roach, we've got a good location coming up here. You're a doctor, right? So forgive. you might enjoy going to the med bay. <gasps> How about we go to the med bay? You guys Whoa. can look for some supplies. Maybe Whoa. some stuff that hasn't been looted. Bug Zynga is right, dude. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> All right. Dr. Roach and Slimantha decide to go to the... Oh, Dr. Roach... Let me write Craig in here. Dr. Roach, Craig, Roach. and Slimantha decide to go to uh, the medical Red department. Manta. My bad. 1G. Slime Zinga. Dr. Roach, Craig, and Bread Mantha decide to go to the medical department to look for supplies. They enter through the broken doors and begin to search One the different G. rooms of the space station's hospital. It seems that the entire place has been looted and torn to pieces. The ground what? is covered in One rubble G. and garbage, and the carpet is soaked in blood. What? Blood? Blood. <gasps> what scene is this? This is scene four. Suddenly, Dr. Drug. Roach and Slimantha hear the terrible mechanical sound of something <clears throat> inhuman trudging down the hallway. Ah! Dr. Roach peeks out into the hallway and sees Blood drugs. two humanoid medical robots approaching their location. Quick draw. The robots have suffered heavy damage. Many of their limbs have been stripped down to their mechanical Quick insides, draw. and they begin, they're both covered. <laughs> My boy! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Okay, Roach has no survival the right idea this time. <laughs> the robots are normally programmed to treat humans, but because of the rogue AI, they are now ignoring their programming and behaving unpredictably. The robots have spotted Dr. Roach and... <clears throat> Hi, God, my boy. Bread Mantha. Bats. And are now approaching them with intent to kill. Uh-oh. Run, shouts Craig, get out of here. Bridmantha changes into a zombie and starts running toward the huh? robot. <laughs> Doc, <laughs> Roach, Craig, and Bridmantha run through the wrecked halls of the space station. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Bre <laughs> Bridmantha is now a zombie. Let's change the Manta. color accordingly. Zombie Mantha. Oh. Okay, <laughs> you want to redo or do you want to become Zombie Mantha? Yeah, what did she absorb? Maybe she stepped redo. in some of the blood. Yeah, I mean, maybe redo. you absorbed the blood. Okay, now they redo. both want to redo. Okay, okay redo, okay. redo, redo. Redo. Scrap that from the record. Run, shouts Dr. Roach. They'll destroy us all. But Mantha runs past Dr. Roach and Samantha and leaves redo. at the two robots. I need you to help me fight these robots. All right, Doctor okay. Doctor Roach Quick is draw. running. Slamantha wants to kill. Wait, Bread Mantha is My a new focus. person here, by the way. I want to point that out. Bread Mantha runs past Doctor Roach and Slamantha, <laughs> and leaves. <laughs> Mitosis. 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 Doctor Roach. Okay, Doctor Roach wants to save these robots. Mitosis. He keeps calling them his boys. I th he loves the robots. He loves all robots. Slimantha, or bread mantha, or zombie Quick mantha. Draw. <laughs> Which one are we on right now? Okay, we'll just do this. We'll do this. Dr. Roach wants to save these robots. He keeps calling them my boys. And doesn't want them to get hurt. 
You got to listen to me. Says Bridmantha. Don't hurt my boy. These robots are evil. <laughs> They're trying to kill us. The two medical robots don't seem to notice Bridmantha or the robots advances towards them. Don't seem to notice Bridmantha or the robots advances towards them. Uh, we can just get rid of or the robots. So that means we're, we're sneaking up on them. Dr. Roach says, no, please don't hurt them. Bradmantha says, we have to. Are we going to do, is it, it Bradmantha? PhD in boys. <laughs> Dr. Roach, please. Kill boys. Okay, Bradmantha <laughs> wants to get a sneak attack off. With a quick draw. Huh. All right, let's do, let's do something where Bradmantha tries to do something and okay, Dr. Yes. Roach okay. tries to do something at the same time and yeah, see Dr. who wins. Are, are you going to try to stop Bradmantha? Kill boys. Or are you going to let her? As long as, you know, the killing isn't by your own, your, your own hand, maybe it's okay. Save boys. Red Man, the attempt to jump in front of the, the gun? Right as Dr. Okay. Red Man, attempts to shoot the evil robots right as Dr. Roach Dad. attempts to save them. I'll be vague here and see how it uh, yeah. interprets this. Both Fly shots noon. miss. <laughs> Bradmantha then tries to hit the robots with their fists. <gasps> she isn't strong enough. Come on, shouts Bradmantha. Help me. Stop them from killing me. Dr. Roach, uh -oh. your move. Dr. Roach, are you going to help? Help. Help! Rip Bozo! <laughs> Dr. Roach! Come on! <laughs> Alright. They've well, made their call. D. Dr. Roach says... L. Rip you. Bozo. And... Doesn't attempt to help. <laughs> Absorb boys! Doesn't Absorb attempt to help boys. in Absorb. any way. Why aren't you helping? Asks Bridmantha. Craig helps Bridmantha attack the robots. We should help them, says Bridmantha. Oh? No. It's just, says it's go. Cool. Here, I say we redo no. this one. Yeah, we just redo. That was, that was broken. Ha! Huh. What are you waiting for? Screams Bridmantha. Save your boys. Oh. Bridmantha jumps and throws herself at the two medical robots. Her fist hits one of the robots, knocking it out cold. Okay. <laughs> hey, we got one down. One robot's down. Okay. Dr. Roach, your response? Absorb. Okay, Bridmantha wants to pounce on the downed one and absorb. Okay. Absorb. My boys. My boys! Bradmantha attempts to absorb the downed robot. Reprogram. Dr. Roach Dad. screams, My boys! And okay, then suggests. We got ads on my side. We might have to pause for a minute. Oh, okay. But yeah, if you want to finish writing this one out. So, yeah. Dr. Roach screams, My boys, and then. Suggest or is he just gonna try to uh, reprogram to uh, reprogram them? Yeah, let's and then suggest they attempt to reprogram the evil robots instead of attacking them. He does have a PhD. Remind Vanessa. me what remind me what that PhD was in, uh, Doctor Roach. Yeah, well, PhD in reprogram. Oh, oh that's fantastic. right. How lucky! Yeah. How fortunate that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Fake PhD. <laughs> what do you know? Fake PhD. PhD and kill. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. We're good? Fake doctor. All right. Reading it again for the ones who are away. Bread Mantha attempts to absorb PhD the down robot. Boys. Dr. Roach screams, my boys, and then suggests that they attempt to reprogram the evil robots instead of attacking them.
You mustn't kill these robots, says Dr. Roach. Only their programming needs to be changed. You can't do it alone. PhD and fuck you. Samantha. <laughs> we need to work together. PhD and clown. Wait, Bramantha's saying we need to work together. Yeah, Maybe. look, this is a tr like coming together. You guys yeah, working we together. Yeah, put aside our differences. You think you guys can no. do? Okay, no. <laughs> it's a no from Brad Mantha. What about you, Doctor Roach? Friend. No. Oh wait, Doctor Roach is extending a hand. Come on, or he's no. extending a. a you know. <laughs> Change his mind. No. <laughs> a leg. Quick draw. The two. Wait. PhD and friend. friend. Oh, see, no, now they want to be friends. Come you guys got to be friends? Come on, be friends. Solve this the friend way. Friend. Yes. Yay. Dr. Roach and Bread Mantha decide to work together and attempt to reprogram the robots. I'm tired of fighting, says Bridmantha. Let's PhD just steal and everything JK. we want from here and run away. What? Dr. Okay, Roach leaving? agrees. Dr. Roach agrees? Bridmantha steals a bunch of supplies, including bandages, syringes, and an assortment of other medical equipment. Huh. What are we thinking? Thief. Redo. Thief. Dr. Roach? <laughs> redo. Okay. okay they, they want to redo. Okay. A thief! <laughs> Bridmantha and Samantha activate the medical robot's programming. The robots stop attacking and start moving around aimlessly. They walk <gasps> around in circles and try to pick up things but never actually do anything useful. Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> Dr. Roach, that was all Absorb you! Absorb Roach! Absor My boys! Absorb Roach? Whoa! Okay, chill! My boys! They're now they're, they're they're peaceful. You guys did it. Hey, they're you guys want to adopt them? On. We can bring them with us. No. Absorb Roach. Stop absorbing people, Bread Manta. Bread Manta, you're on thin ice. Roach Manta. <laughs> Roach Manta. <laughs> adopt. Adopt. Okay, Doctor Roach wants to adopt these these now friendly boys. Doctor Robot. Doctor Robot. Doctor Roach decides Roach to adopt the two. Medical robots. Become one. And take them under his wing. Become one. Become one. Oh my god, Fred Mantha's really insistent. My boys assimilate. Are my, boys now. <laughs> my boys are my boys now. And you're going to be my boy too. What? Assimilate. A grease Fred Mantha. <laughs> Make us whole. Fred Mantha absorbs no. the robot. Assimilate. And turns into a loaf of bread. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, Bread Manta Come absorbs on. a robot and he turns into a. What is happening in this Red story? Bozo. Okay, so. Sorry, I forgot to put that on screen. Uh, let's let's go over this one more time. Rip Bozo. Doctor ah. Roach. <laughs> Doctor Roach. Redo. Tries no, no, not redo. I I veto Rip that. Bozo. This is good. Rip Bozo agrees, Bread Mantha, and then turns the robot into a loaf of bread by absorbing it. Uh, my favorite line is, my boys are my boys now, <laughs> says Dr. Oh Roach, implying they were his boys before they were his boys. Keep. Okay. Uh, how, how does it, this absorb? What do, we, what do we name these robots? Well, one is a loaf of bread. Boy Mantha. Boy Mantha. Uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, let's name maybe let's name the the loaf of bread one boy mantha because it's been eat bread. <gasps> Wait, you're gonna eat your mantha. boy mantha? All right, boy, Doctor boy Roach. Doctor Roach. Doctor Roach eats the bread. Bread boy. Doctor Doctor Roach eats the bread robot. Bread and boy. And then names the other one. What's his name? What's the new guy's name? Your your new boy. No. You've already said it. What do you My mean, boy. Dr. Roach? You're going to flip like a light switch? Yeah, come on, Dr. Roach. Stick to your guns. Quick draw. What's his name? Quick draw. Quick draw. Craig Jeff. 2. Craig 2, Jeff. <laughs> Which Jeff. one? Craig 2 or Jeff? Jeff. Jeff got the most votes. Yeah, you're right. Jeff did.
Craig and Dr. Roach continue exploring the space station. Where's... They come across an empty room and decide to call it the dining hall. As they enter, there's a horrible grinding noise coming from outside. Okay. <gasps> Uh-oh. Here we go. Kraken, get 1.5 ready. Yep. Monka S. PhD All right. and Jeff. As Dr. Roach and Slimantha, wait, Dr. Roach, Craig and Slimantha wander through the hallways, they enter a big open room that looks like a destroyed cafeteria. Sitting at one of the remaining tables, they see a small group of humans wearing full pink bodysuits and making a <gasps> terrible noise. Huh? Huh? Hi there, says Craig. Uh, would you mind not doing that? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, asks Craig. Uh, are they bothering you? Yes. Gil! Says Samantha. They're so annoying. Why does everyone say Among this is, looks nothing like Among Us? It's a squid game. That sounded exactly like Squid Game. I thought you had it on a on a <laughs> yeah, I mean, soundboard. Sorry, like, yeah, I had to stop, otherwise you're gonna get flagged. <laughs> yeah. Among Us. Among Us. S U S. S U S. Okay. Okay. Squid Game. Uh, this was a. Uh, how did I? How did I not foresee any of this? Dude, I thought this was Among Us when you first posted it because they're at a table at an emergency meeting and they're fucking in full <laughs> body suits. I didn't even consider this. You guys are poisoned by the internet. Yes. Sauce. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> okay. 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 What do we do? What, what? wanted to shoot him. Bent. Wait, what's what's our you? move, guys? We can't just keep making Among Us references. We've got to make a move a at some point. Over there. Stop. <laughs> Stop. That, no, that, that is an option. Fred Manta <laughs> is made out of, uh, you know, Bent. pliable Kill. liquid. She can she can slip in there. Okay, the consensus seems to be quick draw and kill, so... Are we just gonna shoot the humans? <laughs> I, I guess, <laughs> the, I mean, these are... Well, guys, we don't even know why they're down here. You... PhD and kill. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Dr. Roach does have a PhD in kill, so... Dr. Yeah. Roach decides to use his PhD in kill. Um, don't wait, Dr. Roach has a PhD in kill, so he decides... To kill Fuck. the three humans. Oh, Bradmantha wants to talk for Not once. Not my boy. Sitting at the table. Bradmantha's just a contrarian, finally. Not my boy. Humans are my boys. <laughs> <Humans are not. laughs> Bradmantha wants to talk to them. Absorb human. Let's see what happens. You've got to stop making that human awful da. noise, says Bradmantha. I can't help it, says one of the humans. I have to make that noise or else my heart will explode. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> okay, uh, what's the move? Uh, I don't know. I mean, do Don't go! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roach, you're a doctor, right? Maybe you can help with this. Askers. Askers. <laughs> Didn't ask. <laughs> Absorb human. Don't care. All right. <laughs> oh, all right. We don't care, I guess. Bradman and Dr. Bo Roach both say, I don't care. And then how do we get him to stop? I don't care. Just, just stop doing it. <laughs> I don't human care. Does. Stop making that noise. Absorb human. At the same time, oh. you two are supposed to be helping me, Absorb. says Bradmantha. Okay, they're, they're, that Bradmantha means is. You have to agree with me. You just retry on that one. I don't agree. Redo. Repeatedly. Please, please stop, says the first human. Make that noise, Redo. says Dr. Roach. If you don't, I won't help you. Oh. Okay, now I want him to make the noise. Okay, this is this is getting a bit to be confusing. Weird, yeah. Maybe redo one more time. All right, let's try it. Uh, 
Oh. At the same time. Don't worry, says the other human. I won't make that sound again. Now will you please eat this, says the uh. first human. It's a special snack that I picked up on another planet. What's the no. move? Eat. <laughs> 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 All right, Bradmantha no. says yes. Dr. Roach says no. Eat. All right, easy, easy decision. Absorb. Without even thinking about it, Bradmantha takes the... Oh, there's an update available. Takes... Eat. Takes the snack, the snack special Manta. snack. Snack Mantha. Without even thinking about it, Bramantha takes a special snack and eats it. Dr. Roach is worried something might be wrong with the snack. Update! Calm down, Bramantha. We'll see what it does first. Do you know how dangerous that was? Asks Dr. Roach. We could have gotten poisoned. Oh. Bradmantha ignores him and continues eating. <gasps> Short time later, Bradmantha feels tired and starts to feel ill. Oh what? no! She's green again! HD and stupid! <laughs> <laughs> What's the move? Sick Mantha. This is so Aww. sad. If only they would have listened to Dr. Roach. Doc Samantha. Dr. Roach, it's in the name, Dr. He, Roach. He's a doctor after all. All right, now Bread Mantha oh, is you. Sick Mantha. All right, I guess you want to just... What, what, Absorb human. What do you think, Kraken? PhD and told you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think Bread Mantha made her decision. She's got to sit this out right now, and Dr. Roach has to decide what to move, how to move all forward. All right, Dr. Cause... Roach, what's the move? HD and shut up. Kill. <laughs> kill who? Oh. Wait, kill who, Dr. Roach? This might be in reference to the humans or it might be in reference to Bread Mantha. Wait, wait, kill Bread Mantha. I'm, I'm not sure. Mantha. Kill humans. Okay. okay. Thank you, Dr. Roach. Dr. Roach humans. is furious that the humans poisoned Bread Mantha. He decides to kill them all. Hey, maybe we can get Craig to kill him. Remember, Craig likes to shoot people. Agree. Yeah. You guys want to get also Sigmantha oh, wants yeah. in too. So maybe like absorb humans. You know, he 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 does the command, and then both Sigmantha and or Breadmantha and uh, Craig. You know, they're like his guns. You know, they're his shooters. Doctor Roach is furious that the humans poisoned Breadmantha. He decides to kill the humans Craig with kill. Craig. Action sequence. <gasps> no, cries Bradmantha. Oh. We can't kill them. You did Sick it draw. yourself, says <laughs> Dr. Roach. You ate the thing they gave you. Redo. Now it's your fault if you get sick. What do you think? Now it's your fault if you get sick. Redo. Redo or keep? Dr. Roach, what's your opinion? I don't... Redo. Okay, okay. I, I don't think it was that bad, but sure. Out of character. Okay. I'm sorry, says Ooh. the second human. Please don't kill us. We won't make that noise anymore. Dr. Roach ignores him and picks up his gun. Oh, shit! Shoot. <laughs> Fred Mantis is laying there throwing up, pogging. Pog. <laughs> Dr. Roach... Hands the gun to Craig. Oh, shit. And says, Do it. Here, my boy. You kill them. I know you love to shoot people. Do it. I don't want to kill them, says Craig. <laughs> You have to kill them, says Dr. Roach. Otherwise, they'll keep annoying us. <laughs> but why? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Howard, That's my boy. 
<laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Do it, says Dr. Roach. Just do it. Craig refuses to kill the humans. You can't expect me to kill them, says Craig. That's cruel. Obey! Breadmantha decides to <laughs> Order kill the 66. humans. Yo, Breadmantha, fan hammer, quick draw! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Quick draw! Quick draw! Breadmantha quick draws her gun and shoots at the humans. Fan hammer! Don't shoot me! Shrieks one of them! No Don't Xbox. shoot me! <laughs> They're grounding Red Craig! Fires her gun once more, but Bad misses. boy! You can't shoot me, says one of the humans. What is he doing a little dance? You can't shoot me! He's can't like, shoot me. <laughs> you can't shoot me! Shoot again! Shoot again! Red Manta shoots at the humans again. Skill issue! <laughs> <laughs> You can't shoot me, says the other human. Shut up! But man, thanks for the third human. <laughs> oh no, says one of the humans. No, please don't kill me. How it's so hard to shoot somebody. Just, yeah, you just gotta force it, man. Fredmantha keeps kill. fans yeah, hammer with the is. gun until they... Fredmantha yeah, shoots know. the humans and kill. kills them until they're dead. Dr. Roach is horrified that Bradmantha killed the humans. Uh, don't you oh. understand? <laughs> Says Dr. Roach. You don't have to do that. Redo! <laughs> Redo! Redo! Dr. Like, nah. Roach is like, I would not say that. Redo. <laughs> Why did you shoot me? Has the last human. Bradmantha says I had to and then walks away. Yo! Wait! Says Craig, what just happened? Poor What's Craig. your one-liner, Breadmantha? One-liner. One-liner as you're walking away. Come on, Bread. Bread cool. Absorb humans. Oh, well, that's more of an action. You need a one-liner. Come on. Rip Bozo. <laughs> okay, Rip Bozo. I think I thought slime time was your catchphrase, but uh, okay, no more people voted slime time. Wait, I was saying Rip Bozo or Slime, slime time. time? They want Slime Time. That was that was their catchphrase they agreed upon earlier, but then they forgot. Slime Time. Says Bread Manta. As she's walking away. This is so cool. Wow. This is really cool. Craig follows Bread Manta down the corridor. Yeehaw. Where are you going? Asks Craig. I have to go take a bath in a tub of slime. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Roach and Craig continue exploring oh, okay. the space station. Why so? Brad Mantha's a gun? What? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean that's part of you know being a slime girl. You have to take an occasional slime bath. Grog and grog. Grog and grog. <laughs> that's a past life, Doctor Roach. You can't be saying that, man. All right. How about how about Doctor Roach? And Craig decide to kill time bath until time. <laughs> Bread Mantha Bail is done RT. with her bath. Does that work? Sure, yeah. They find a control panel and activate the ship's power. The lights dim and the ship begins to move forward. Suddenly, and fail RP. there's a loud screeching noise coming from outside. <laughs> Dr. Roach and Craig run to investigate. Wait, so what did happen? Return I was... to Slimantha, yeah. No more sick Mantha. Get in bath. Now we're Slimantha. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. So we're going back to Bread Mantha? No, back to Slimantha. Slimantha! Because we took a, a slime bath. Okay, Dr. Ro okay, let me PhD fix their profile. Fuck you. Dr. Roach. Okay, 
she's fixed. All right, so now what's our move? Sorry. It's okay. Pish. Well, this room is full of dead humans. Uh, should we move on to the next next spot? Yeah. Um, are we bringing Slimantha? Yeah, Slimantha's all better. JK. All right, let's see the next location. Become blue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue. Okay, okay. Calm down, Slimantha. So demanding. I have one I'm scene left, humans. and it's the artificial intelligence confrontation. <gasps> bum, Bash. bum, bum! Do you guys think you're capable? This could be a boss fight for the ages. Slimgacy. Don't say that, Dr. Roach. <laughs> you're a man of science, no. a medical professional. I think we're as ready as no. we're ever going to be. All right. After Which walking scene? for ages, e -W. Dr. Roach, Craig, and Slimantha approach Sticky the heart calories. of the space station. They are standing in front of the room that contains the rogue artificial intelligence. Dr. Roach and Slimantha take a deep breath and push their way through the big doors into a giant room. Kraken, get scene five ready. Miss Sitting in the middle of the room, PhD in, AI. in a little black chair, is a tiny robot tiny yellow robot. He looks up at Dr. Roach and Slimantha and says, hello, in a cheerful and innocent voice. Oh. This little yellow boy. robot is the artificial intelligence responsible for the destruction of the entire space station. My boy. Quick draw. <laughs> <laughs> its body is made entirely of circuitry and it has no Quick eyes draw. or mouth. Oh. It has a very large brain and is constantly thinking Adopt. of ways to solve its problems. We have an even split here. says the AI. How nice to see you again. Again? Again? Huh? He's already seen us? Thinks back through all the people we've met on this journey? Thinks back through the of one course. that's been with us since the beginning? Could it be? Prime baby. Again? What's our move? Craig? Is it Craig? Is it Craig? Sees us again. Who else could it be? Wait, let's, let's just inquire. Let's inquire. Craig? Maybe we should just ask, like, yeah. again? Yeah, yeah, okay. Again? Asks Dr. Roach. My boy! <laughs> My boy? <laughs> Are you one of my boys? <laughs> Shoot Craig. Son! <gasps> yes, says the eye. I am your boy. I'm your best boy. <gasps> You're not my boy, says what? Dr. Roach. I don't have any boys. No boys? <laughs> You've been lying this whole time, Dr. Roach? Redo! <laughs> <laughs> I do have boys! Redo! <laughs> Redo! No boys! <laughs> no, I, I think this one's good. You can change the last line if you want yeah. to, but otherwise I think it's good. Boyless. Boyless. <laughs> I'm just going to do, my boy, <laughs> says Dr. Roach. Um. Oh, whoops. Yes, says the eye. Can you tell me who you are? PhD they in Boyless. Dr. Roach. Of course, says the I. I'm your boy. I always have been. Oh, now we have now always we have a been. predicament. Slime, Roach, wait, I have to change Slimantha's name. What are we gonna do? My boy. But Dr. Roach, this is the AI that ruined the ship. Shoot boy. Dr. Roach, don't be blinded. This AI is trying to take advantage of you. He knows you have a soft spot I'm for robots. Boy. I grabbed the boy. <laughs> Slamantha's jumping Don't into care. action. Don't care. <laughs> Hug my boy. <laughs> I, I, we might have to ro the boy. roll some initiative here. This seems like it, we're, we're coming to a, a, a fork in the road here. Okay, maybe we should just, do, like, let the AI decide what happens, you know? Like, do the, 
do the yeah, thing like Dr. Slam Roach wants, wants to. to like yeah like take the boy out Dr. Roach moves in to try to hug the boy Slamantha wants to kill Matt 20 Slamantha wants to kill the AI I'm proud of my boy but Dr. Roach is proud of his boy is and proud wants him to live That 30 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, says the AI. That 100. I've been wanting to meet you ever since I awoke. Proud Good of job my waking gun. up, says Dr. Good Roach. job waking up. You were Nap supposed 40. to wake up when I told you to. Wait, what? Nap 50 calories. Dr. Roach is the one that woke the AI up that destroyed Wait. the ship? Dr. Roach was behind it all from the <laughs> beginning? Dr. Roach, what have you to Eat. say for yourself? Shoot Roach. PhD in evil. Oh, he was <laughs> That's what the PhD was in all along. Fill an arc. Oh my god. Dr. Roach was the one who woke the evil AI. Pish. How should I frame this? Pish. <laughs> he yeah. was. Pish. Collect penalty. Dr. Roach was the Bad one who woke the evil AI. Dr. Roach was behind the space station's destruction. Uh, there's bound to be a better way to word this. Collect penalty. It doesn't really matter. I, I think it's clear enough. Evil laugh. But the AI didn't know it yet. Ha ha ha. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd be able to wake myself up. Slime time! Did you wake yourself up by accident? I guess I think we should be more specific about like, yeah, I, I, maybe we set a scene here. Like, yeah, Dr. Roach does an evil laugh, like, you know, sits next to the AI facing Slimantha and, you know, you can like be something like that. Dr. Roach, what's what's your what's your one-liner that you say towards Slimantha oh, to tell her that you've actually Slime been time. evil the whole time? Something you say to her. I know you've been practicing a one-liner slime, Dr. Roach. Now's your chance. Bogzinga. There it is. That's the one. Bogzinga. Bogzinga. Sits down next to the evil eye. And says, Bogzinga. Slime noon. <laughs> slime noon. <laughs> Slimantha Get is rope. betrayed. Slime noon. She had no idea. That Dr. Roach Slime was Noon. evil. Slime Noon, I should have said that. Ugh. Get roached. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Asks the AI. Yeah, we do, we, we do. We do. killed you. Non-canon, don't pay attention to that. Redo. What are you laughing at? Asks the AI. <laughs> Nothing, says Dr. Roach. I just thought it would be funny to say bugs like that. I see. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I just thought it would be funny to say bugs. Omega Lol. Bugzinga. Bugzinga. Bugs. What are you laughing at? Says the AI. <laughs> Nothing. PhD in bugs. lame. <laughs> PhD in lame. <laughs> All right. What's our move? Maybe, uh, yeah, so... Let's, let's go to Slimantha. How is, how did you react, yeah, Slimantha, Slimantha, to find out? He just did this reveal. What, what do you, what's your reaction? I feel like I know the answer. Withdraw. Yes. <laughs> slime noon. Slimantha, uh, quick draws their slime pistol. PhD and fuck you. And yells, slime noon, aiming for Dr. Roach. Slimantha aims the gun at Dr. Roach. And says, "Call my boys." Slime oh, noon, and collect penalty. And then Doctor Roach is gonna call the boys in to Doctor Roach up. laughs again army. and says, "Call in all my boys." Summoning like yeah yeah yeah, the robot yeah. AI or something like that. Then. The Boy, doors army. open up, and Mycosis. an army 
of robots into the room. Mitosis. Under the control of Dr. Roach. Mitosis. Yes, Slamantha, I know. You want to <laughs> perform mitosis. Let we'll do that next turn. Action happen first. Mitosis, mitosis, mitosis. Dr. Roach points his gun at Slime Samantha. Army. Boy noon. Here, my boy. boy. <laughs> Come here. Kill her. <gasps> Dr. Mantha has a plan to kill the AI. The evil oh. robot laughs. Wait. Uh, uh, Slime Mantha? The, the plan to kill the AI. What is it, guys? Come on. Slime Army. <gasps> Mitosis. Mitosis Bye into Mantha. a slime army. Bye, Mantha. <laughs> slime Mantha begins Bye, Mantha. to divide up into. How do I even say? Mitosis. Slime Mantha enters mitosis and splits and into splits into a hundred little slime Mantha slimes to form a slime army to combat Doctor Roach's robot army. Roach. Oh, Mantha. Oh, Mantha. <laughs> it is now 100 robots versus one, 100 Mantha little slime Manthas. My girls. <laughs> My girls. <laughs> Dr. Roach is delighted with his new army of robots. My girls. There's nothing like having your own army of robots. Says <laughs> that was so lame. Dr. My boy. Roach and evil robot laugh together. Redo, redo, redo. But oh. Mantha has absorbed the robot. Now she remembers what he was supposed to cringe. do with the AI. She goes over to the evil robot and says, Come with me, my boy. But that's just power gaming. <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. yeah we, we gotta get a good conclusion. Yeah, we, we have to, my boy. This is the climax for both people. Redo. Dr. Roach and Craig begin to fight the robot. <laughs> Yay. Shouts Bridmantha. I killed a hundred robots. Dr. Oh, okay. Game over. Our boy. Army. Redo. <laughs> Redo. Okay. Again. Okay. We're gonna. What we gotta do here is we gotta make it very clear that yeah. it's going to be Yay. Dr. Roach and Sly Manta will now have to fight to the death with their one hundred slime girl army ah. against Dr. Roach's one hundred robot AI army. Yeah, and it is sure now a fight war against each other. I'll just fight to the death. Wait, uh, I'll fight to death against each other. It is now a war between 100 robots and 100 slime girls. And Craig. Easy peasy. <laughs> GG easy. Here, my boy, says Dr. Roach. Come Girl here. Boss. Kill her. But Mantha has a plan to kill the AI. Bridmantha enters mitosis and splits into a hundred little slimes to combat Dr. Roach's robot army. All right, let's okay, I say we do it one more yeah. time. Oh, is no one of robots vs one uh, of little slimes. The robot this is good. Just repeating what we said. Slime. Continue again, maybe? Here, my boy. It's Wait, Roach in time. Roach. we said this? Come yeah. here. Kill her. Lupa! But Mantha has no choice. <gasps> oh, here we go. She must kill Dr. Roach. But Mantha, Dr. Roach, and Slamantha prepare for <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. There's a lot of Slamanthas now. It's okay. <laughs> Let's go! Slime time. Slime time. Says Slamantha. And then what do you say, Dr. Roach? Slime time. PhD in war. <laughs> you can't kill me. I have a PhD in war. This is so cool. I, what I would give to see this in theaters. PhD in dead. 
<gasps> then the robots turn oh, their guns PhD towards Dr. Dead. Roach. <gasps> Slamantha has Dog a plan singer. to kill the AI. The robots aim their guns at Bridmantha. Huh? Dr. Roach doesn't want Bridmantha to kill him. Redo, redo. This is confusing. Yeah. Redo! On it, Dr. Roach. Don't worry. Then the door opens up and an army of robots enter the room under the control of Dr. Roach. Dr. Roach gives the order to kill the slimes. <gasps> oh. The robots immediately start killing the slimes. Let's progress no! one more. Redo! Yeah. <laughs> you redo. can't redo when you start losing, dude. <laughs> okay, how do we come back from this? Uh, undo that one. Okay, yeah, that kill one. the AI. Okay, how do you... You're losing the fight, Slamantha. How do you come back? Ripozo! Come on, put, put those heads together. Absorb AI. Absorb AI? <gasps> oh. In a desperate attempt to turn the tide of battle. AI. How do you spell desperate? Absorb AI. Yeah. A desperate attempt to turn the tides of the battle. Slimantha. Slimantha. Slimantha Runs. absorbs. The evil AI Amanda. into her Amanda. slime body. Not my boy. Not my boy. Screams Dr. Roach. <laughs> Our boy now says Samantha. Self destruct. <laughs> Self destruct. Oh boy. The way I tries to kill Samantha, but Our he boy can't now. because he's in her body. <laughs> Not my boy, says Dr. Roach. Dr. Roach has a PhD in kill, so he decides to kill Oh my him. god. Oh my god, is he gonna kill his own boy? Oh wait, that's self-destruct! The self-destruct, that's what they were talking about. He said self-destruct. It's all coming true. This triggers the oh, AI no. to self-destruct inside of Slimantha. <laughs> I win, exclaims Dr. Sorry, Roach. boy. I killed the AI. I guess we lost, says Slamantha. It's okay, says Dr. Roach. Okay. GG. Redo. Redo. <laughs> okay, they want a better conclusion. <laughs> oh. S body. Bredmantha survives the explosion and emerges from mitosis. The battle continues. You can't kill me, says Craig. That's Craig? mean. <laughs> That's not nice. Craig, Craig well, is he's like, quite the philosopher, oh. isn't he? Craig! <laughs> <laughs> Craig! Wait, Slamantha, what if you take out Craig? Absorb Craig! Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe... Shoot, Craig. I, maybe I can't kill you, but I can absorb Not you, says Slimantha. Okay, okay. Who, who is she talking to? To Craig. Maybe I, I may not be able to kill you. I may not be able to Craig. kill you, Craig. But I can, but I absorb, can absorb you. you. <gasps> Did we do it again. Another self-destruct sequence. Slimantha. <laughs> she then absorbs... Craig. Shield Craig. Shield Craig. Dr. Roach. She then attempts. In, the way in an attempt to shield his boy. She then attempts to absorb Craig. But Dr. Roach jumps in front. Absorb Roach. In front of Craig to protect him. Okay, we have to see how this resolves first. Roach Mantha. No, screams Craig. Throw bread. No, says Dr. Roach. I'm not letting you kill him. Craig throws a bomb at Slamantha. <laughs> Damn, Craig. You're too slow, says Slamantha. Too slow. Should we progress at one more? Skill issue, yeah, sure. Too slow. 
Oh. You're too weak. Samantha then uses her telekinesis <laughs> to grab hold of Craig and drags him into the air. Oh my god. Stop Stop it, says Craig. Let me PhD go. And slow. Okay, ah. apparently. <laughs> 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 Dr. Roach is like, what? Apparently, what? Slamantha has telekinesis. What do you yeah. do? What do you do? What do you do, Dr. Roach? This is your chance. You have to, you have to do something. Your boy's in danger. <laughs> He's <laughs> stun locked. <laughs> Look at him, his little profile picture. Pro bread. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. In an attempt to free Craig. <laughs> Dr. Roach throws a loaf of throws the loaf of bread at Slamantha. <laughs> no! It Use her PhD. On the head and knocks her out. Samantha wakes up Absorb and sees bread. that the battle is over. What? The robots are defeated and the AI is destroyed. What? Thank you. I think we need to go up. Yo, yo! Look, I think we, we need do. to go up and change <laughs> the original thing to say that Craig. Uh, is, I do. mean, uh, sorry. Says that Dr. <laughs> Roach is evil in disguise or something. Oh, you think so? I, I, I think it's going to change the outcome there. Yeah, I guess not. I. I Easy. I mean. <laughs> I but what happened? Knocking her... <laughs> I don't know. We could try redoing. I do think the knocking her out part was good, though. I think okay. you could keep that and then knock and then re redo the rest. Redo. Okay, we'll do this. Hits her on the head and knocks her out. Oh. I hate you, says Craig. What? You're stupid. <laughs> Dr. Roach picks up the loaf of bread losing. and says, Your mom was a hamster and your dad smelled of elderberries. Okay, Dr. Just Roach. Monty Python. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Roach, what are you doing? That was you just quoted Monty Python for your one-liner. Oh my god! That was your one-liner after all this, after winning the war, Dr. Roach. You absolute fucking lameo. <laughs> okay. Being cringe. What? What's your next move, Dr. Roach? Got Tim. <laughs> do you? Do you? What do you do? Okay. One liners coming up. What do you do? Stop with the one liners. What do you do about Slimantha and the war? Kill. Kill? I mean, she's knocked out. This would be your chance. This would be the chance to do it if you're going to do it. But that's dark, man. That's is, do you have it in your heart, evil. Dr. Roach? To kill Slimantha, the one you've come all this way with? Yes. <laughs> Rigged. Dr. Roach. Yes. Attempts. I'll, I'll let it have a chance for Slimantha to wake up. Dr. Roach attempts to kill Slimantha before, before she, wakes, she up. wakes up. Yeah. PhD in evil. <gasps> oh. She's awake, says Craig. <laughs> he recovers and begins to fight Dr. Roach. Oh my move. god, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> Mary! That's mean. Mary? Mary? <laughs> Mary? <laughs> Pauses? Redo! Seduce! <gasps> oh? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, if I can't kill you, Slimantha, then I guess I'll have. Yes! To seduce yes. you. <laughs> PhD in wife. <laughs> <laughs> you, says Craig. That's gross. I think I might be able to get you to fall in love with me. Roach husband. You, uh, says Craig. You, uh, <laughs> you, uh. I mean, Roach Daddy. It seems they're both into it. Dr. Roach and Slamantha decide to stop this pointless war. Our boy, Slime Wife. And get married. Slime Mommy. 
Samantha and Dr. Our Rhodes boys. are now engaged to be married. Yes! Yay! We decide to stop this pointless <laughs> fight and get married. She's dead, says Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Absorb Roach. Ah! <laughs> Dr. Roach looks down and ah! sees that his new bride is now dead on the floor. Still getting ah! L's. For some reason. <laughs> Redo. Dr. Roach realizes what he has done. Dr. Roach why, is now why? the only no. one left alive aboard the space station. Oh no, says Dr. Roach. Ripozo! I killed her. And with that, the TTS goes off on <laughs> Slimantha, who has perished. That is so sad, though, that they were, they were to be wed. I mean, they did get wed, and then she died. According to Craig. Repair wife. <laughs> Repair <laughs> wife. I, is he going to put... Her, her slime into the robots, like in the beginning, remember the glue, the lubricant? So there's a little bit of, like, his wife and all of his boys? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! That's what I'll do! Yes! In an attempt to resurrect his Robot new wife, wife, Slamantha, he puts some of her slime into... One of the robots. Let's see if it works. Now that Dr. Roach has brought back his new wife, he has to make sure that his new bride doesn't die again. Let he me die! <laughs> <laughs> Cybermanta. <laughs> oh. No. Uh. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> I think that's the perfect ending Kill me. we can ask for. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh. No. It hurt. No. 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 <laughs> dude, I love I, I love the dynamic Kiss. between Dr. Roach and Slimanta. My wife. I can't believe the Quick evolution. Draw. Quick draw. I, I know, what a weird, that, that story was just like, something would happen and then, oh, actually, this is now happening. Twi the twists and turns. Man, yeah. I was really wow. happy how both of these turned out. Um, Godzinga. You guys did a great job. I'll, it's, you know what's the, the coolest part? about this to me is like divorce <laughs> is seeing I kind of felt like the personalities of both of like our chats was represented in the characters they played and like the kind of like the the lines they chose and the timing and stuff it felt it felt really like uh uh like you're actually playing with a person you know like I know I know that's what I love about the this widget it's like it develop. it's like it's weird it's like they only speak in like little, little short sentences, but it feels like they're able to band together so well and come up with these like recurring jokes and like it just, it's just really funny. It's fun. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I, I know we, we wanted to do more of these and this was kind of the first one, Run, like a proof of concept. So hopefully we can do more with different themes and like, uh, you know, kind of refine the uh, fun, the format. More. Fun, more, fun, fun. Yeah, I think more. I think refining it and getting it, you know, uh, like working more smoothly. More. And that would be. More. I would love to do this fun. again. I gotta turn this down. It's like so loud. Yeah. Yeah, it's exhausting though, man. Wow, it really so, is, dude. Like so when, many different things. When we started, uh, like before we started my story, I was like, "Oh my god, can I do this for another story?" Because, like, dude, just ta just interacting with chat this way is so hard. It's like, it's so difficult. I don't know. It's like constantly trying to keep like people on task. 
Yeah, and I think we we kind of found our rhythm uh, in both of our like <laughs> respective like you know uh, stories like at some point within. So I think that was really neat. What are your out of out of people here? What are your like thoughts about this? Like, would you change anything? Because I. I think the only thing that I would change is like <laughs> ERP. No, okay, no ERP. Okay, we can't do that. We can't. We can't do that one. But I think else? getting it working smoother. Quick draw. Is my main thing. Like. No. <laughs> I also no. we really wanted to do more image generation, but it is so hard to do that while juggling like. Yeah, on the fly. Yeah. Like, I kept trying to generate images for you, Kraken, and then we would immediately be somewhere else, and I'd have to scrap everything that I was working on. Yeah, and, Ugh. like, you know, yeah, the, the tough part was, like, uh, getting chat to go new places, and, like, there's a certain amount we had prepared. Like, I we didn't even touch all the places that I had prepared. Um, I think, like, half of them we didn't even go to, and so... Rather than like force you guys down that path, try to make it natural. <laughs> All right, I think we might have to say goodbye to the, yeah. uh, these characters now. All right, everyone say goodbye, Dr. Roach, and bye, Slamantha. I hope that you enjoy a nice life together on the space station alone. Um, bye. Work out bye. your problems. Bye. Yeah, you work bye. it out eventually. Hurry, run. Bye. Let me bye. die. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny, dude. <laughs> they resurrect, let me die. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude, thanks though for, for like you doing this, Kraken, and everybody being so for the most part well behaved. Yeah, it, it took a it took a little bit of practice, but um I think once you guys got your sillies out, uh, you know, we had some really we, we told some cool stories there. I, like I, I was invested in both of them by the end and it felt like a perfect ending on both of them which is i think super cool that you can like have like a bottle episode you know where it uh it has the whole arc that was entirely driven by you guys like we didn't we prepared literally the images and like a brief you know description of each of the rooms maybe but everything else was entirely like chat and the ai so um yeah i thought it was awesome yeah, I think I think as far as the stories, I liked the first one better. Just because I don't know, dude, like the the, <laughs> the dynamic between the first characters I really liked, but I think they both were were really good. I liked for, them both for different different, for different things, yeah, which was uh exactly what I thought was going to happen, like because we both designed our uh our our campaigns separate without like comparing at all. So to have them go totally different directions and like different tones. I mean, I know there's like a dozen things that I would do different <laughs> doing this again. Um, but you can't really know that until you try, right? Yeah. But that that's one thing I was like kind of worried about, you know, like stuff going wrong. But thinking of it more as like just a first test of like future stuff, I would say it went well. Like, yeah. there's still little speed bumps and stuff and like dealing with like trying to get things into OBS smoothly is kind of annoying, but other than yeah, that, I think it was a good first test. I think yeah. so too. It's it's definitely interesting when you're trying to like wrangle not only an AI to to move the story along, <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> but also chat to give you the tools so you can move the story along. So it's like, it's like, it felt like having like eight leashes on like, you know, eight different dogs all running in different directions. And you're like, oh, okay, all right, come on. And you're like trying to move it forward. But then when it did work and clicked, it was a lot better. Yeah, the parts um, that were good were great. Yeah, oh my God, there's so, so there's so much art so far of uh, Grug and Grog. And like, I'm just scrolling through and just seeing, <laughs> this is so cool. The oh, my my boy, Dr. Roach. <laughs> Dude, Dr. Roach. Oh my god, it's so gross. Let's see if we got any fan art. <laughs> we have one. <laughs> we have one piece of fan art. Uh, 
This was done um, by Metal Atus. Thank you so much. And it's a fan yeah, yeah, of show Grog and Grog. Grog and Grog. Here, I have one on my stream. Let me tune into yours. Dude, this is so sick. What about the AI ones? Oh. Oh, there might be AI ones. Let me check. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, never mind. A bunch of people made uh, art using the AI uh, stuff that we used last time. I want to go through this. I'm going to pull this up so I can go through it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> best way of doing this. Yeah, here, put all the ones that you have in uh, the Discord, and I'll put all the ones I have. Uh, well, mine's like an entire room. I don't know if I can... Oh, I see what you're saying. Put them in a separate place that easily. <clears throat> okay. Let me... Who would your who would you say your favorite character is, Kraken out of everyone? Uh, honestly, Greg and Grog. <laughs> I think Greg and Grog was mine too. That Greg and Grog was so weird and funny, dude. Yeah, it was pretty hard to uh, to beat. But <laughs> they were all pretty good. Grog and Grog. All right, I'm just gonna run through some of the art. My side. I can also screen share for you. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll pop your... Oh, you already are. Here, I'll pop this open and then... Wait, let me... I'm just going to screen share this. And if you want to zoom it in... Uh, I closed out of that one web page, but everything else okay. uh, you can see there. And then, yeah, so this first one is as you probably guessed uh rat germa this was back when we were first <laughs> forming these um wait, let me... my boy wait god where when did this begin oh here it is i gotta go uh, see if i can find any more this was grug and grog Dude, they would- oh my god, I didn't even consider how their body would look. That's so funny. Germa as a rat photorealistic masterpiece. Oh god. That okay. middle one's kind of cute. <laughs> He's got like an ear wheel on his side. Giant bipedal rat and conjoined twin ogres eat a galleon. God, when you guys just ate the ship at the beginning, I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. <laughs> I was like, what the hell we just signed up for? An ogre cries as a rat marries his goblin love interest. <laughs> it's all like Shrek pictures. A giant rat marries a goblin gal photorealistic. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to see a boob or a penis. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm checking before so, I... There's so I many of them, them are, like, close-looking. Uh, the dark wizard Plumbus appears in the middle of a wedding between a rat and a goblin. Yeah, that happened. That really happened. <laughs> rat baby Germa attempts to snipe the dark wizard Plumbus with a crossbow. <laughs> 50 calories. 50 calories. <laughs> Not the Gnome Tavern. <laughs> Dude, I, I thought it was so funny in that, uh, in, in my story, how they took that first robot all the way through the entire thing with them. I was not expecting that. A giant rat is disgusted by a tree covered in ladybugs. My boy! <laughs> I 
<laughs> this might be my favorite. An ogre devours <laughs> the god of bread who tries to scold him. <laughs> Look at bottom left, dude. He's like... <laughs> that top middle one looks like Peter Pettigrew. <laughs> Uh, old hermit yelling at ogre and giant rat bard photo realistic. Yeah, dude, that that old man was super mean. I know, and he turned into a ghost, and it was really scary too. What the hell? Oh, that might be boobs. I'm not opening that one. <laughs> it was when the lunch lady got involved. The lunch. Oh yeah. Uh, this one's okay. Goddess of Baked Goods anime. <laughs> Look at the Ew. bottom, the bottom middle. Ew, I was just about to say, dude, if I saw that thing, I would, like, have a heart attack. That's so scary. Plumbus the evil wizard preparing for battle. Dark anime. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's totally how he looked. Yeah. Grog and Grug, the bloated ogre dark. Ew. Oh my god. Ew, dude. That's real bad. Look at that belly button at the top left. This was someone's goblin wife. My heart just fluttered. <laughs> Well, this one's kind of cool. This is an alternate reality slime cowgirl for Slamantha. Wait, they my you uh, my chat was coming in saying to make a cowboy. I think they said like cowboy cowgirl or something or cat girl cowboy. Oh, we were almost the same character. <laughs> they were they were screen peeking, dude. Cowboy cat girl. They were trying to get me to. A slime ew. girl consumes copious amounts of soup. Ew, top middle is ew, but the exact middle, dude. <laughs> the ship of Theseus 2, Soup Mantha. Uh, Slime Girl Bounty Hunter shoots Robot Clerk in the head. Dark sci-fi. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Okay, uh, by oh, the way... Like, random, like, Nickelodeon slime... I was gonna here. say, this, like, Terminator Slime Girl-like thing is kind of freaky. Yeah, these are all... Strange men in red bodysuits around a table in space station dining hall dark fantasy. That's, That's exactly what I typed to get that, that image. Pretty much what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's most of them. Here, I'm going to pull mine up really quick. <laughs> Slime cowgirl absorbs soups from robots. All right, here, let me stream it to you. All right, do you Good see job, this? guys. Uh, let me... I only have, like, six of them. Uh, let me... You know what? I'm going to go back to this screen, and then... Grog and Grog. Wait. Uh... <laughs> Dude, I'm going to remember Grog and Grog for the... That's going to be my wallpaper. I'm making Grog and Grog my wallpaper. They're so oh, cute. Sick. To move Grug and Grug. <laughs> one sec, there. I'm missing one thing. And then I do. Sorry, guys. We have a very complex system for like all these screen shares. Um, I just went to a display capture for this. I I'm out of the AI show thing. I somehow managed to mess that place up so bad. <laughs> oh, here we go.
There we go. All right, I'm good. All right, there's this one of Grug and Grog. There's Grog on the left and Grug on the on the right there. Naturally, naturally. There's this. There's there's Grug on the top, and as as you would expect, Grog yeah. on the bottom. We have this one that I love, <laughs> dude. That's this so is, good. This is so insane. This like the the energy that this captures is so awesome, dude. I love this one so much. There's another sketch of him. Aww. My boy! My boy! Dr. Roach. We got another Dr. Roach. Reminds me of the bug in SpongeBob. <laughs> We've got another Dr. Oh, Roach. Oh, God. This one's gross. And the marriage. The Aww. marriage scene. Between Dr. This Roach is... and, and the slime, Slimantha, before she unfortunately. Before she died. We realized she was dead. <laughs> Moments before her death. 